Y'all I ready? Guess, yeah. Y'all ready for previously on? Yeah, let's roll. Yes. Okay. What happened, DM? Well, allow me. Previously, on the Arcanum Genesis, you finished your business in the Ice Fangs after dispatching Lord Lucian. You raided his coffers and claimed his creations as tools to further your goals. You gave Jane their last rites, speaking with their close friend, Theron, to find a proper burial site. Amble, you made your plea to the Raven Queen to give them safe passage to the beyond. And in that moment, the cadence flared with energy and time slowed for everyone but you three. A figure emerging from the ether behind you all, a depiction of the Raven Queen, who thanked you for what you had done for Jane. The midday sun felt a bit warmer, knowing that the grip Lucian had over the ice fangs had faded completely. Without much hesitation, you all began to travel north towards Ironlock, making as much distance as possible before deciding to rest. But before rest came, you all decided to contact Avar. Without much hesitation, Avar used his arcane prowess to teleport to you all, wishing to look over what information you'd recovered from Lucian, information on the Frostborn invasion, information on the plot to assassinate the Councils, and information on the defects they discreetly added to the Clockwork Soldiers, creating a single weakness in a near-perfect system. Soon after, Avar sent for Lorelei, who quickly made their arrival taking the notes in regards to the Clockwork Soldiers so that they could re-perfect their design. They were both to return to Aethergarden, but not before expediting y'all's travel. They gave you a teleportation circle and sent you to the Iron Haven, the stronghold for the Wildwood's military general, Talion. You all brought the intel in regards to the Frostborn invasion and did not hesitate to hand it over to them, speaking as emissaries of the Council of Mages. Talian thanked you sincerely for bringing this information to light, before speaking out to the room, saying simply, Evacuate rough water. Evacuate Haleshore. Set up a perimeter along the northern border. We're going to war. You all left the Iron Haven without loitering, deciding to visit the Markax family home, Amble's home, and you are all met with open arms. Before long, you all decided to rest, having been awake for quite some time at this point. But before rest came to you all, Imp had a chat with Veneria. One of lack of confidence, of fear, concern for what they had left behind in Aethergarden. Imp didn't want to go much further than that. He just needed comfort, but Veneria wanted to know. She cast a spell. One that would allow her to peer into his mind. But you got more than bargained for, being pulled into this white, void dreamscape that Imp was familiar with. She couldn't breathe. It felt like she was drowning. And she met a figure who went by Ilman. That night, everyone once more had visions. Visions regarding relic weapons long lost and faded to be recovered. In the morning, they made their preparations, and left Ironlock, heading northward, towards the Iron Rock Valley, towards the resting place of the Sun's Iris, to the place Amble saw in his dreams. It didn't take them long to find where his dream took place, and from there, they walked a hidden path up the side of the mountain and followed it into a dark cavern until they were met with a door, ancient and adorned in draconic runes, sealed by the arcane. Amble let out his breath upon it, pure ice energy, and the door recognized his authority and crept open. It was at this time they heard footsteps from behind them. A half-elven figure with draconic eyes, one arm fully scaled, and a tail. And they spoke out towards them. At first they were cautious, but then they saw the door had opened, and said simply, I see, you must be Markex. And this is where we resume. 
And this is where I scream. <laughs> uh, I'd oh say boy. Immediately upon this guy walking in, I have both daggers out and I'm whipping around in the fighting stance like, oh shit! <laughs> and by... Yeah, uh... I am a Marcus. Uh, who are you exactly? He first looks to the side towards Imp and just kind of like lowers his hands a bit towards the ground as to diffuse a bit. No need for hostilities. My name is Seraph. Fifth of the council. Great! Uh. Well, good to meet you. Um, what are you doing here exactly? As I said, I'm the keeper of this place. I intend to keep wandering souls from attempting passage. But I feel the time has come, or rather, I see the time has come where these doors were to finally be opened. I have wards to alert me when people are nearby, to prevent whatever's in there from falling into the wrong hands. And what's in there? I'm not quite sure. It's a tomb of an ancient warrior. My grandfather, I supposedly. Older than that. Much. Commander Markax. From... From what I've read, this place is over a millennia old. Well, old crypts uh, guarded by ancient magics that, uh... This, way, this sounds just lovely fun. What are we getting ourselves into exactly? It's a very good question. <laughs> you should ask that question two weeks ago. Yeah, that's a good point. Alright, look at I'm sheathing both daggers. <laughs> Gives just a, a nod. And looks back up to you, Amble. And what brings you to this place? Well, simply put, a vision. Uh, it told me, it told us to be here. I see. Well, this place is your birthright. I'm in no position to stop you. But this place is dangerous. And he kind of like just takes a step forward. I would feel responsible if something were to go wrong. I will look over your... How do I put it? Browsing. Well, more the merrier, I say. So, so we can we can pass then, right? I am no position to stop you. Then let's go. What? I mean, we're not doing any good standing outside two old crusty doors. Let's go see what the hell's down there. Tread cautiously. Yeah, let's... Let's go, ladies. He basically just follows behind around 20 feet back, just making sure nothing terrible happens. I'm glancing over my shoulder every now and then at him, just because I'm paranoid. Understandable. So y'all push the doors open? Yeah. Alright. Um, do some revealing. So, while you're doing that, can... What was his name one more time? Seraph, you said? Seraph. Um, Vin turns back and goes, Seraph? Yes? Can you do one thing to prove your connection? My connection? Do you have a way to contact Avar, Lorelei, or any of the others? 
I do. And he holds up his hand and you see a very familiar looking ring. That's all I needed. All right. Thank you. Understood. He's fucking smart. Probably should have asked that. And you see, uh, as you push the doors open, this big open room with four pillars with these red gemstones embedded on the walls. There's a set of portcullises at the far back, two set up seemingly blocking this long hallway. These two doors to the sides of the room. What do y'all do? Well, I guess we're going in. Yeah. First and foremost. Um, I will be checking for traps as we head along in. Go ahead, roll investigation or perception. I'm going to roll a perception because I am very cautious on this too. Ooh, ten. Let's give it a go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no better on 14. Uh, 11. <laughs> you rolled that I, ad- I had advantage checked, but 11. Um, all right. Yeah, no no, no traps, to your knowledge. Not that you see. Seems to be just a old stone floor. Well, eh, more of this shit. Um... I'm going to walk up to the the portcullis at the far end. Is it, like, uh, hot like the uh, the previous door was? It's not. It's just this big, heavy metal portcullis. And there's two of them. Actually, here, I'll reveal it. It cuts off quite a lot of vision into the... Pardon me, into the next hallway. But you can see, like, there's a little gap between, and there's just two sections of portcullis. Hmm. Shit. Um... Well, um, 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 what's everyone's passive perception? That is a great question. Uh, Mine is 15. 15 16, 16. 11. 11. Uh, Imp, you notice, uh, just being passively aware, uh, the four gemstones on the pillars all have this faint shimmer into them like some sort of energy circling within. And the more y'all are moving around the room, the more that energy seems to be stirring almost. Uh, hold on, y'all. Um, uh, these uh, gems, the ones that were uh, in the previous room, um, uh, they seem to not like us moving around too much. Uh, Vin, can you, like, you know, figure out what the hell these things are? Uh, sure. Uh, Tao, can I cast Identify? Uh, do you have it prepared? I do. Uh, you can make... you can, Yeah, you can... If you want to cast a spell, you can identify the gem. Uh, yeah. I will go ahead and do that. Alright. So, as you walk over and touch the gem, it is hot to the touch, but it's not burning you. Mm-hmm. Um... You get the sense heavy enchantment but also heavy evocation and you know that this isn't any specific item it just has a lot of different uses you can use it to empower the arcane you can use it to contain things and as you're pondering on the containment you get the sense that there is something inside of this gem. Something connected to it. And you see that faint swirling fire begin to swirl faster and faster. As you see bits of flame begin to trickle out of the gemstone. Do I notice this as well? Everyone has noticed it at this point because it's happening on our all four gemstones. <laughs> well, I'm going to back I'm, the fuck up. I get the fuck out of the way of these things. <laughs> I am pushing Orin back out the way. Uh-oh. I'm going around behind the line of sight of this pillar. Yeah, she'll join you over there. <laughs> and as y'all are moving like that, you watch as outside of these gemstones, these four elementals emerge. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Not what I expected. Oh no! They're on fire! 
<laughs> I cast fire. <laughs> oh no! And in oh, that no. moment, everyone's kind of panicking, and I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh jeez, oh, right no. into it. Good lord. Sweet. A seven. I was expecting like flame jets or something. <laughs> Ella comes swinging in with a 14. 20.18. I forgot to click on my thing. God damn it. Apologies. You're, You're good. gonna regret that spaghetti. Hmm. A bop. Oh, we were even. Uh, okay. Add token. Okay, what'd you roll, Shad? Uh, 20.18. 20. Big money. Initiative breaker. All right, time to time to roll for the elementals. Oh boy, roll low. Let's go. They got a big nine plus three, <laughs> so thirteen. All right, starting out, imp. You see these four elementals emerge from these gemstones. What do you do? Oh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna scoot... I'm gonna, like, peek around the pillar here and just go for a, uh, a knife throw. Now, I don't have sneak attack because I'm behind them, do I? Uh, you don't. Okay. Uh, just... One thing more you notice... Um, their their tails, so to speak, like they have this long, uh, slender form, and there's always this small trail of flame burning across the ground and up to the gemstones, almost. Ah. Okay. Can, can, can I hold that knife throw then? I don't want to. Now, now that you said that, I have a different thing I want to do. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try to <laughs> sneak around this pillar. Yeah. As daintily as possible. I'm gonna try to like just wedge my knife right into where that gem meets the uh, the pillar, and just try to get it out. Uh, go ahead, and make a strength check for that. Oh, strength! Oh, you gotta if you want to wedge and be pop easy. it out. You gotta you gotta be kind of kind of, oh. kind of strong. Oh, be dexterity. You're yeah, bad at nine. those. <laughs> you, you jam the blade in and just try to wedge it out, but it's it's tough in there. It, it's it's hard. You're you're scratching the gemstone, but you aren't you aren't able to quite pop it out. That was your first attack. Uh, shit. Uh, can I just go with the other? Uh, like try again as a bonus? No, no, not even try again. I just want to like screw trying to like you know eject the thing from the pillar. I'm just gonna try to fucking like bash it with the butt of my. Uh, Go Hope for it. Dagger. Make an attack roll. Alright. Uh... Wait, would this be with uh, Occam's Razor or just normal? Hey, if, you, if you want, yeah. Occam's Razor, you can use that. Okay. Nineteen that, that definitely hits. Um, right. So you're just smacking with like the blunt end? Yeah, trying to smash it. Cause so, grailing your hand back and slamming the pommel into this thing. You get a lot of reverberation with your hands, so it's like kind of like smacking against stone. It's not fun, mm. but you do see as you pull back, there are cracks beginning to form across the entirety of it. And it, cool. it's it looks pretty damaged. And you see as you do that, the the flames kind of <laughs> flicker a bit. Go for the gems, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna just call it out while. Hopefully trying not to draw too much attention. Ah. At that, it's Amble's turn. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh yes. Oh oh no. Uh shit. Um How many times can I use my breath weapon exactly? Once every short rest. So I've already used it, right? Yep. Uh, shit. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna scoot over to my gem and just gonna pick up my uh my longsword and go for it. Go for it. Make that attack. Or short sword. Long sword. Ha. Twenty five. Definitely hits as you just slam the blade into it. Uh, with a 
piercing strike. It deflects off, but where you do, you see a, a crack beginning to form, and you see part of it actually chips off. Shit. But well, I'm going to go gem, for another one. The, it's definitely damaged, but it's still functional. Yeah, I'm going for another. Go for it. Uh, 12. So you, you pierce forward, and this time you hit one of the edges, and it just glances off like nothing happened, unfortunately. Missing. Damn. All right. All right. Is that your turn? <sighs> um, yeah, I think so. I, I, I can't do anything else. All right. This, uh, and that's the elemental's turn. This boy's going to just stand right beside Imp. This one's going to oh. rush over to Veneria. Later. This one's gonna move as close as it can towards you, Imp, but it gets, like, tethered almost to this pillar and is trying to reach out towards you but can't quite reach. It is terrifying. Um, so one attack against Vin. These things are chain chomps. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be... Uh, uh, yeah, 23 to hit. Oh, definitely. Uh, so you take... All right, so it's seven fire damage. Okay. Um, I need you to make a dex save. Okay. Um, my ward absorbs the seven. A dex save, you said? Yes. I'm bad at those. But I had hey. twenty to. <laughs> <laughs> you do not ignite. Ah, All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> One attack against imp. Uh, that is a big. 11 to hit. That does not it. <laughs> one against Amble. And that one, a Hey, I duck. Uh, Veneria, it's your turn. Okay. Um, bonus action can be used to disengage, right? Only if you are a rogue. Oh, shit. Or a goblin. <laughs> or both. Um, okay. Uh, fuck. Um, I'm really thinking about this one, boys. I think what I'm going to do is cast Magic Missile at fourth level. And if I can, can I make two shots go to, like, out of the four, can I make two of the shots go to two of the different gemstones? If you wanted to, which two would you want to target? The ones that are already damaged, the one that Imp and Amble. Well, Amble, did you hit one of the gems? He did. He hit this one. I, I hit mine. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to split it between both of those. Two, uh, the first two to the top one, uh, the second two to the bottom one. Okay, go ahead, roll that uh, damage. 1,000. That's a 5. That's a Ooh. 5. That's a 2. That's a 2. <laughs> so 10 to the top one. So yeah, you watch as these two missiles shoot out and then curve around, curling right past your head, Imp, and smash into this gem, and it just shatters, sending shards of this red gem everywhere and you see as this elemental screeches as it withers and vanishes sweet beans as the other two streak forward curving around the fire elemental slam into the gem you see cracks begin to form deeper but it's still still sturdy is that your turn um yeah that's that's pretty much the extent of what I can do alright Auron's turn I think seeing the elemental in front of us, uh, she's going to move up a little bit because she big. And then essentially she's going to go for a claw attack. It, In my mind, I'm thinking it's more like a swipe of her wing because ah, uh, fire, just going to blow it out. But <laughs> it, it, it's, it's just going to go for a straight up claw. Go for it. 19. Uh, yeah, you watch. Well, first off, Oren takes... Three fire damage Rah! as they claw into this fire. Um, but yeah, um, you see as the claws rake through, uh, it's almost like this ash and dust just gets scattered onto the ground to the side behind beside it. Uh, but it seems mostly ineffective. It definitely took damage, but didn't seem that effective. Eh, she baby, she don't know any better. As the other turn. Uh, yeah, that'll be her turn. Okay. Imp, it's your turn again. Alright, um... 
I'm gonna let's see how far can I get around. Uh, I'm gonna scoot over. Oh, let me actually move my butt. Yeah, I'm gonna scoot over uh, here and just try to take a shot on the, this crystal. Go for it. Twenty-seven to hit. Definitely hits. Big damage too. Uh, so you slam the pommel into it again. You see cracks begin to form. Alright, I'm just going straight up with the second one. Eighteen to hit. Yeah, and that'll do it. As you slam the pommel into it again, it just shatters, and this one withers and fades. I'm just gonna put an X over it because it's the initiative tracker. Oh, there you go. Two down. And that is the end of my turn. All right. I forgot to have Seraph go, so Seraph is just going to walk up and be like, "Well, I can't really help here," and is going to. Oh, I need to look at his sheet. <laughs> God damn it! I thought he was just observing us. I thought that was totally in character, honestly. Yeah, I was about to say honestly. <laughs> just, just watching us like, fumble. Ah. I mean, I wouldn't put it past the guy. No, I me mean, either. <laughs> uh, he's going to hold its hand out towards the one in front of Amble and cast Hold Monster. Which it rolls uh, a nat one on. So this this elemental seemingly about to attack Amble again just tenses up and just freezes. Actually, no. No, no. Not not that one. The one one on Veneria. My bad. Because this one's about to die. Um, Amble's turn. You don't know that. Well, you're, I, I'm assuming you're going to attack the gem again. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to attack the other gem. No, I'm totally going to attack the gem again. So. <laughs> Go for it, then. Just going to swing it. Uh, 12. Glances off again, not quite able to hit. Damn it! You do have another Are you attack. missing it? It's sitting still. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna yell, "Damn it!" and then just go for another. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, you swing forward and just <laughs> stabs into the stone pillar. Like, damn it! Pull back. Thrust forward again. Very angry this time, and just jam the blade into the center of the gemstone, and it shatters. And this elemental withers and fades away. Jesus. And then, uh, I guess I'm gonna move over, well, over a little bit, and then I'm gonna point to Orin to. Try to focus on the gem that's on the other pillar. All right. Uh, so that's your turn then. Firelmanta's turn. It's you can see it's like trying to reach out towards you, Venaria, but it just can't. It's like being held by this unnatural force. And it's your turn. Easy time. That's just a scorching ray straight out of the gate. <laughs> towards on, where? Towards that gemstone. <laughs> All right. Twenty-seven, twelve, twenty-seven. So. To hit. Hey, you watch these. The first blast impacts right above the gem, and the two others slam into it, and you see it emblazon and <laughs> absorb into the gem. And you watch as the fire, <laughs> and you watch as the fire elemental grows brighter. I regret my decision. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say earlier that like these are fire in your fire? Like, uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's Orin's turn. I'm, I'm just gonna. Or Hamble's gonna be looking over, and just like thumbs up. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Orin is gonna walk up, kind of look at the gem, like, the fuck is this? And I think she's, she's just gonna go for a bite, more or less a bite, and try to pull it off. Go for it. <laughs> Ten. Yeah, she goes for the bite, and it, it's a really difficult position to actually bite because of its position in the pillar. So they just end up, like, scraping against the stone. It hurts. So they back she off. mad. Yeah. It, it's like a dog trying to get a treat out of, like, a rubber chew toy. Yeah. <laughs> Imp, it's your <laughs> turn. the worst. All right. I'm just going to scoot on over. Actually, how far can I go? Uh, 30 feet up. Perfect. I'm just strolling out to it, and I'm just going to take a shot at the gem itself. Go for it. I'm going to give Orin a complimentary pat on the head, though, as I go for it. <laughs> Make your check. Natty. <laughs> 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 All right. 
Um, first off, make a deck save. Oh, okay. Shit. You see as the flames swirling around from Veneria's blast have empowered the gem. So as you smash your pommel into it, there is a recoil like explosion. Uh, I'm an uncanny behind. dodge. Uh, that's for... You have evasion for deck saves. You still have to roll the save. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I meant evasion. Might be. But yeah. yes. 17, th- that's does... a pass, so you take no damage as you slam the pommel into it. It shatters. There's a massive explosion, but you're already ducked in, in cover. As How that does one Oren fades. have to make the save? Oren does have to make the save. Oh. Yeah. We're blaming you, Vin. A 13. Oren takes six fire damage. Baby numbers for baby. Let's go. As they hit... Well, it wasn't that much damage been dumped into the gem. But yeah, as, as that happens, you see, uh, with all the gems now shattered, there's this fine layer of red dust across the ground as the calm enters the room once more. <sighs> ah, sorry about that. I kind of had a lapse in judgment. <laughs> yeah, I'll say, but uh, know, that wasn't too bad. Um, that wasn't the worst. Scary as shit, but... Are oh, we well. fine? Did anybody get hit? I, I think Oren took a little bit, but I think she's fine as I'm walking over and kind of checking on her. Just seeing, like, the minor burns, I guess. It's just, like, little, like, black marks, I guess, across her. You can wipe them off. Pretty much what I'm doing. <laughs> Clean her up. Be like, you're you're doing all right, girl. You're all right. I'm, I'm going to scoot up to the top of the room behind uh, Seraph and be like, Same. Uh, did uh, I do anything? Dora magically unlock or something. I don't know how you wizard types work. Still looks sealed by the looks. It's probably something else to do. He just looks past. I don't like this place. It feels wrong. You ever get that I'll feeling say. like you're being watched? Yeah, in my line of work all the time. So... On- honestly, that sounds like our last couple weeks. Yeah, that's kind of been the rigmarole, if you will. This is different, though. <laughs> Fantastic. Anything behind the door, Amp? Uh, not as far as I could tell. Uh, You're going to try to open the door? Or, uh, well... Or the portcullis. Yeah, were you talking about the portcullis, uh, KJ, or are you talking about the no, side door? No, I-, I saw your character move over to the uh, door. was curious if uh, you were okay. checking it out. Uh... Yeah, does this door have like a keyhole or anything in it? Uh, uh, or is it just does not cute? look to be any keyhole or anything. Alright. Uh, I'm going to slowly open it, um, being very mindful of like any door traps. Alright. Uh, doesn't appear to be trapped. You open it and see it enters into like a okay. T intersection. Uh, well, presumably this uh, goes. If this is really is a. Um, like a, a tomb, then I'm presuming uh, this room, and then I gesture to the one on the opposite side. Uh, I'm assuming these are like different ways to uh, various crypts and such. Um, might find the the answer to uh, opening that. Pointing at the portcullis. Uh, well, here, one way to find out. I'm guessing so. I'm, I'm gonna walk over and open the uh, the opposite door. All right, and it's a very similar site. Opens up into a T intersection. Yep. So what do y'all do? <sighs> One at a time then, or, uh... Orin can't fit through those doors, can she? Not those hallways, no. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna mention the, you know, two and two, but, uh... As Orin's gonna try to, like, demonstrate of not being able to fit through the door. Yeah. If one of you requires company, I can follow behind and make sure... Nothing wrong happens. Hmm. Um, well, it... Hmm. How about I go with Amp and Seraph, you go with Amble. If All you right. want to... If you want to split it up and make it quick, um, who knows what's in here. Uh, if anything goes wrong, just, uh... Just call it out. We'll meet up back here if, uh, we get in trouble. Well, don't forget we also got the ring, so... I mean that any, too, yeah, but, you know. <laughs> any, any trouble, you know, just call it out. 
And I'm going to tell Orin to kind of chill at the, the call us at, at the top and be like, we'll be right back. Well, All right. I hope we don't regret this. So we'll start with Amble and Vin. Beep. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait. The, uh, it, it's Imp and Vin. Or right, Amble uh, Imp and Vin. That's what I meant. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, damn, we're splitting the party again. <laughs> so right. what do y'all do? Go through. Boy, yeah, boy, howdy, we're entering. All right. It opens up and you see another turn like that and mirrored on the other side again like that god damn it I'm following you I'm not gonna go splitting on you this much because if we go one by one we'll get picked off uh, I'm gonna kind of creep up around here and then just peek around the that like corner down the hallway it opens up into another T intersection. This is a fucking maze, ain't it? All right. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna. Meanwhile, Amble's out of character, totally taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna just speak it in the rings. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a fucking maze. Just be wary of that. Noted. Scooting down there. All right. Just revealing areas. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is happening. Uh, it opens up lots of different paths. Uh, as we're strolling down, uh, like a Vin. Yes. I'm not exactly uh, of the magical type, so um, you'll have to excuse me for asking, but uh. Back in Abel's place, what was that you you, you, you tried you try doing something to me and uh, clearly didn't work. What exactly was that? I don't want to dodge the question. Imp, as you step out into that hall, you see clearly uh, a large red gemstone. Stepping right back around the corner. <laughs> Not before making a dexterity saving throw, because as you do, you notice it flares and shoots this beam of flame out towards you. Alright, and dodge e Or evasion, rather. Yeah. Uh, 23. So yeah, without much issue, you just sidestep as this flame I'm just, blasts I'm just against gonna... the back wall. And you notice now, looking along the floors, there was a scorch mark visible from around the corner before you rounded it. All right, you know, we'll, we'll continue this conversation at a time when uh, there's not uh, flame and death traps trying to kill us. So, I have an idea, Imp. And uh -huh. Tau, I'm going to cast Prestidigitation and put an X on the wall in red, uh, just like paint, I guess, or whatever it would be. Can I do that? Sure. Um, I'm going to do this, and... I don't know. Does prestidigitation allow it to be cast like multiple times, one after the other, if I wanted to make like a. I believe you can have three effects active at one time. Three effects. Okay. So. She actually takes that one off the wall and it's like, we need to set up very specific points to make sure we know the way to get back if this does end up leading us to a complete dead end. That's a good fucking point. Um... I've been taking pointers from you, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm flattered. <laughs> um, peering down this main hallway tower, does it uh, does it dead end? Yes, it leads to a complete dead end. But you see, there are turns to the left and right both ways. All right, uh, with more visible scorch marks in the floor. I definitely put an extra idea then, and I'm gonna like point at this. Uh, how do I ping shit? On the ah. select tool, just hold mouse one. Ah, I'm a fool. I'm a like point at this like main like rectangular wall right here. Um, I'd put one right here. This seems like the uh, uh, general hub area, if you will. All right. And yeah, she puts one right on that section of wall to kind of signify the split and kind of the connection to the main point. All right. You peer around the corner. You see more scorch marks. Right. Uh. 
Well, it looks like we got a little bit of a gauntlet right here. Um... Vin, can you uh, do any sort of like magical barrier of some sorts? Uh, um... Like a wall off these areas, or is it not? You ready, uh... <laughs> ready to be a guinea pig? I don't like that. <laughs> I'm going to cast shield on Imp. That does not work. <laughs> Does it not? Shield, shield is a reaction against an attack against you that lasts one round. Okay, I wasn't sure. Um, let me actually see that in that case, because I really don't think there's a hell of a lot. Like... Yeah, no. Like, I could put up a wall of fire to stop the fire. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help exactly. Yeah. Gonna work. Science! Hey man, fight fire with fire. I don't think that works here. Uh, thank you, God. Um, <laughs> You're just gonna get... have to tuck and roll. Uh, I'm good at that. All right, fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna kind of hype myself up a little bit. Kind of just like I'm about to jump into like a, a freezing cold lake. I'm just like, hoo, hoo. <laughs> and then, yeah. Vin, Vin's behind him. She has like both of her fists clenched out in front of her, and she's just shaking them up and down. Just like go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm gonna Do you leap. I'm gonna leap and roll. <laughs> All right. Five feet across this thing. <laughs> as you do, you see, just very similar to the previous hall, two red gems as they both ignite seeing you and shoot it towards you. I need you to make a deck save. Damn, even with that speed? Shit. Yeah. Right. Fire jets, baby. <laughs> yeah, there's some speedy fire jets. Natty. You just <laughs> dodge roll and they just. The flames impact each other. Have this big massive plume and you see, again, scorch marks along the ground. Well, that seems mighty inconvenient. Alright. <laughs> One more! <laughs> uh, actually, Tao, uh, do I know, is there like a, uh, or, um, I don't know if you'd be able to, okay, can, can I very, very carefully, as soon as the fire jets stop, like, yeah. take a peek around that corner quickly and see if, like, the, uh, is, is there a cooldown period, essentially, between fire jets? Uh, you see, as you peek back around, um, the the glow has like subsided a bit, but immediately, as soon as you start look, uh, like, around the corner again, it starts to glow brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. Not and you realize, oh, if you wait one more second, it's going to shoot, so you bet around the corner again. All right. Uh, that is not a big window at all. Um, right. Okay. Sure enough, I'm coming to the next one. Do I see scorch marks now? You do. And you see a dead end in front of you. Alright, alright. This is uh, not the way to go. I'm coming back. <laughs> Make another deck save. Uh, Ooh, 11. Okay, so you take half damage. Yeah. Uh, so you take one fire, because I rolled a two. <laughs> Singed my ear tip a tiny bit. Like yeah. to imagine he comes through with like a roll and is just like nothing to it, but like his arm, like the cloth on his arm is just on fire, and Vin is like, ah! ah. He just pats it out. <laughs> nothing. Not that's, a problem. That's where the totally one damage gone. came from, is just the pat. <laughs> oh, fuck. And, All right, uh, well, yeah. not the way to go. The other way! And I round uh, the corner to the left and go to the wall. Uh, Alright. I'll be behind her. You see. This another T intersection. Woo. Scorch marks down to the left and nothing off to the right. We're going right. I like <laughs> the sound of that. <laughs> Again, just another long haul. The adventure continues. <laughs> <laughs> another long, just a big, big. Woo! Long and I'm going down the length. <laughs> yep. Just oh him. boy, more. Cruising down Baker Street. <laughs> Jesus. And as you round this corner, you see what? a little lever on the wall. Dope! Oh, I think that's our ticket right there. Will you do the honors? <laughs> Am I strong enough to pull it? <laughs> do you try to pull it? Can yeah. I help him and give him advantage if it is a heavy lever? <laughs> he goes to pull it, just chink, like it's nothing. Okay, cool. And you hear in the distance 
I hold up the ring of force speech and go, Amble. Uh, yeah. We got one. Find a lever. Oh, well, all right. I think we're halfway through. And then we jump over to Amble. In the and past. Sarah. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Whoa. All right. What, what do you do, Amble? Well, first off, we're we're just going to kind of make our way into the hall, just seeing what's up. Yep. Very similar to the previous, except a bit different. Oh. You immediately see scorch marks to your right and uh, passageway off to the left. I think... <laughs> I think first we were going to make our way down and then hearing the whole, oh, look, watch for scorch marks. And it's like... <sighs> Yeah, we're not going this way. Back up the other way. <laughs> All right. So you're around the corner the other way. Yeah. I'll just reveal a big chunk because I feel like that makes sense. Because I'm sure once we're like walking and talking and looking out for these scorch marks, um, I'm going to be asking, be like, so how much of the markets do you know? Not much. Just read history. Learning about this place after it was given to me as my ward. Your as its ward, ward rather. Who, Protecting it. Who gave you the order to? The rest of the council. Huh. So. Hmm. We know we don't know much about this place, but we know it houses. Well, it's the tomb of an ancient warrior from before the calamity. Crying eyes are never welcome. So, would you happen to know of the other two, then? The other two, what? Uh, just like... Just like the Sun's Iris. Like, the other weapons? Or Sun's at least... Iris. Not does not ring familiar. Uh, okay, um... Never mind. And we're just gonna keep on walking... And Amble flawlessly makes his way. <laughs> to the lever. Jeez. Oh, I'm dodging, good at these. <laughs> dodging everything. He's got that <laughs> dungeon crawler spirit. Well, I, I think the, the, the tip of, hey, scorch marks, very bad, is probably a dead giveaway. So it's like, ah, okay, I can at least look for that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to walk up and uh, flip that switch, baby. And then I'm going to call on back and be like, well, we got ours. Uh, we'll meet you back there. I think before we make it out of our maze, essentially, I'm going to I'm going to ask. So if there's any other information, you know, of this place or even my family, like, can, would you tell us at least, or at least me? I feel it is fitting. Your ancestor, Commander Markix. If you're familiar with the Chromatic Dawn, which, by the way, make a history check. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, where is my history button? You haven't heard All of it. All seven. Them. If you've heard of the Chromatic Dawn, your ancestor was the founder. And what were they? Or it? Not much is held in terms of the history within the Halls of Eternity. All I know is that they were vital in the victory that the mortals had over the gods a thousand years ago. And he just keeps walking. I'm... A little, like, struck in back of, like, we've just, like, really, like, our family was fighting gods? I mean, even if this was thousands or hundreds of years ago, like, it's a little, it's a little hard to take. I, something I can't believe. Are you familiar of the tales of the Calamity? And <laughs> if I don't remember of the, of the whole conclave, no, I've. I'm unfamiliar unless I should do another history check. Go for it. 18. You know that 
a thousand years ago, the calamity that people refer to is a time when the gods weren't sealed behind the divine gate. The gods were active on the prime material plane. They weren't bound. And there was basically war constantly across the entire realm between all the gods fighting and the mortals were just not long for this world. <laughs> That's as much as you know. Yeah, I would imagine it's more like uh not like fairy tales, but like essentially like tales of the old time. Haha. -ha. Yeah. It just stuff to remember, I guess. But yeah, I would I would remember that at least. Regardless. And you step into the main room as you see Veneria and Imp stepping out from their hallways. And you see the gateway. The portcullises have both swung open and raised off the ground. Uh, actually, not, not to interrupt here, but um, on the way out of the little maze, uh, good KJ and I could sit, continue our little conversation. Go for it. So just stay on the way back. All right, well, now that we're not uh, getting, you know, Band alive. Um, what is it that you tried doing to me back at Amble's place? I tried to read your mind. Huh. I. Yeah. You were just deflecting so hard. And I got frustrated, and I'm sorry. But I, I, well, I saw uh, something, Imp, uh -huh. and you're, I don't know if you're going to understand or not, but I saw a person, and they looked an awful lot like you. Like me? I mean... But they gave, they gave me a name. Ailment. Uh, Is uh, that your name, Imp? Yeah, that'd be it. Ailment. What, like a surname or anything? Does anything follow it? Is it just that? Look, I try to keep. Uh... I keep my past buried as much as I can. Um, I'd I rather not that. let you know, but uh, I do know uh, who, or whatever it is that you're talking about. I've had a few. Uh, well, it seems we've all had our little dream visions or whatever. Um, I normally don't dream, at least not that I think. I don't know how most folks dream, but uh, if you saw um, big blank white void. Creepy yeah. black figure, skull mm. head. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's new to me too. Um, when did this? When did this start? Quite recently, when we just when we all started having those visions. It seems I, I mean, shit. Uh, only only recently uh, recently learned from Avar that I'm an Aether born. I'm presuming this comes with a job. You're a what? Can I roll? You remember? His... You remember? I'm telling you that at the guild. No Venaria does not know what an Aetherborn is. <laughs> That's right. That's the third time you've told me now. So I keep on trying to wonder. I, I just feel like it's that sort of thing where in passing, if we ever ended up anywhere, there'd be history. She'd be trying to look that kind of shit up. Like, is there just no history or record of it anywhere? Avar mentioned that this was a new phenomena that happened because of the Arcanum Genesis. That happened that only five episodes ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, you're supposed to know this shit. I know. This is why you take notes. Damn it, you're totally right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, no. Uh, scratching that, she would just be like, what the fuck does that even mean? That's a great fucking point. It's kind of why I don't want to go back to the garden, but... Well, I'm sure we're going to find ourselves back this sooner or later. Um, I kind of don't have a choice. Nah, I know. Um, look, I don't know what the fuck's rummaging around in my head. Um, it's bad enough in there as is. I'd rather you not go poking around in there for 
my and your own sake. So, I mean, you know, if there's something I want to tell you, I'll tell you. Don't try to get it out of me by force, please. I'm going to give her a smile, but it's a very firm sort of like, you know. Don't fuck with me. I have the power don't of God fuck and enemy on my side. Smile. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> she She's just frowning in response and just throws her hands behind her head and goes, whatever you want to do, imp. And she starts walking forward. She is less than satisfied. She wants to get in his head. <laughs> Joy. Back in the room. So you all meet up and you can see the portcullis doors have opened and with it you can see more of the hallway. Well, I see y'all are in a burn to a crisp, so I'm assuming everything went well. Yeah, that, that tip helped a lot. Good. Well. Uh-huh. Odd what I suppose. Give an orn a little pat because... Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Good. Finders keepers. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to push our way through. Onwards. Sarah follows behind everyone. As you enter the hall, you see adorned on both sides these intricate carvings. A mural, almost. Depicting a battle. You see the depiction of Tiamat perched over the Iron Rock Valley. And against them, a small army of dragons, each with their own rider. And then we see a depiction eerily familiar to what Amble looks like. Atop this ancient dragon holding this bow, and the tip of the arrow is overtaken by the depiction of the sun. To the right of them, on the other side, we see a man standing in the snow, a short blade in their hand, a crown adorned on their head, just pointing towards this five-headed monstrosity, and behind them, this army of men. It's a depiction of the events of Calamity's end, when the mortals sealed the gods behind the Divine Gate. Do I know what any of this is? You know it is what I just explained to you. <laughs> okay. All right. Just I just wanted to be sure. Yeah. It is what it is. I'm definitely going to be taking a look at it, especially myself that's not myself. And then I can Can I make out um the other two then? You can't quite find where you can't. You don't really see any tabaxi or other depictions that would be familiar to anyone else in your group. Okay. So this obviously has to be something depicting the calamity, right? Would that person be one of your ancestors? Not was, but is. The first of the Markics. Whoa. Uh, I mean, no offense, you all kind of do look the same, so. <laughs> My dragon boards and all, so, uh, I mean, makes sense to me. That that's, that's racist. <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> well, I, I, know, I, know, I, know, I don't I, see any dragon board around where I'm from, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know I have an ability that hates other races, but god damn, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rangers are the racist class, huh? Uh, yeah. We kind of be. It all unfolds now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Anyways. Yes, just this, this long, is where the party splits. <laughs> just this long hallway filled with beautiful engravings upon the walls depicting history. So, uh, basically, other than just kind of looking at myself and... Uh, just kind of taking it all in i i guess i would keep pushing up through the hall and you may find this long staircase going down looks like well 
200 feet of stairs just going straight down before it comes to a stop. Do we see any scary uh, gems that are going to shoot more fire at us? You see faint gemstones embedded on the walls, but they look like they're only emanating light. Which, by the way, everything is perfectly lit in here. Interesting. This place is magical as fuck. Very. I'm pretty sure if I det did detect magic, it would light up like a Christmas tree. You'd be basically blind. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> as you all continue, Seraph's just like... Almost... Like, shaking his... His, uh... Like, tapping his foot nervously, almost like... This place doesn't feel right. Well... What do you propose we do, then? I'm not proposing you do anything. This is your business. I'm just here to make sure you don't die on my account. No promises, Amble. <laughs> well, I got no plans on dying, so... Uh, if you guys are ready, we'll, we'll, we'll see what uh, these steps have to await us. Yeah, onward, I guess. We descend... You'll make your way down this long stairwell. It takes you a while to walk down. But as you do, you enter in at the bottom into the small chamber. Change of map. And you see there's one more set of iron double doors at the end of this short hallway. You see on the sides of the wall the inscriptions continue. You see a, a detailing of Tiamat being sealed away in the process of it. And on the other side of the wall you see what looks like an ancient dragon curled around a lifeless body. And that is a depiction of a white dragonborn. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's. Hmm. Then just goes up behind Amble and like waggles her fingers out beside the It's like spooky foreshadowing. Ah! <laughs> is this doing anything for you? Uh, not really foreshadowing. It's just you're welcome. And she walks up to the door. <laughs> uh, 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 thanks. And I'm gonna follow suit. Live it up a little. It can't be the worst thing. We just gotta figure out how to get him open. Do you she try is to not taking the sheer gravity of the what the mural is depicting on the wall. <laughs> Are you trying to open the door, then? Hell no. She's a weak bitch. I will push her aside and open the door. All right. You grab onto the sides of the door and push almost effortlessly. It opens. And it's into this grand wide hall. I need to do a big reveal. Big, big time. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Do we just have a knack for finding like big wide open spaces in yes. underground <laughs> caverns and tombs? Like three black dragons incoming. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, big. This huge Guys, it's room our spa day. Let's with go. With these massive support pillars and there's these four walls and they're around 15 feet tall and each of them is this own little mural depicting different fights and different skirmishes across the calamity. And on these pillars, you see these red gems embedded, deep-seated. Great! You get two Mate. copper if you guess what those do. Alright, you, you got a bet. Oh boy, in we go. But I'm definitely not getting in the lightest side of those gems. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to make my way around the right side. Just sticking to the outside wall. As you all enter the room, you hear those iron doors creak and then 
close. Ah, great. Yeah, who didn't see that one coming? But you turn and look, and there's this veil of shadows almost surrounding the door. And you note that there aren't many shadows in this room. But the lights begin to dim, almost. And get dimmer. They don't go out. But more shadows are being cast. Oh, that's fucking weird. And you just see Seraph tense up. This is bad. Okay. This is a presence that I'm familiar with. What do you mean you're familiar with? I have done research into the Betrayer Gods. Specifically the ones that have cursed my bloodline. He kind of gives you all like a a side-eyed glance. And you hear a shriek of a roar. You see these shadows in the room that have been building begin to get drawn towards the center of the room. The floor getting circled with just darkness until it's almost like Vantablack. There's just no light. You look at, at this circle in the center of the room and it's it looks wrong. It looks like it shouldn't be there. You see this massive clawed hand reach out and place its grip on the stonework. You see as these massive black wings unfurl from the shadows as this purple light just begins to burn up and out. You see a look of panic on Seraph's face. As exiting from the center of this portal is this massive shadowed dragon. I need you all to roll initiative. What? Uh, uh, Okay. (laughs) I was kind of right. Oh, dear. (laughs) Ah. Hmm. You know, oh, I, no. I really fucking wish you weren't right. Can we, uh, can we, can we load a new save and start this over? <laughs> Jesus. I get a six on my initiative roll. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, shit. Time to roll for Seraph. Oh, he rolled well. Imp, Imp gets a sixteen. Amble gets an 18, or gets a 15, and Dragon gets what? A A 7. Ah. I need to open up Seraph's sheet. How are you liking that 6, KJ? It's great. (laughs) It's just fucking perfect. I'm dying with the zero dexterity, man. (laughs) You have a plus 5. You have alert. Oh my god. Yeah, I was about to say, like... Yo, hold on a damn second. What? I'm the biggest idiot in the world because I haven't applied that to any of my dexterity checks. You have. You checks. rolled a 6.1. Yeah, you rolled you a nat, nat 1, 1 and got a 6.1. Did I roll a nat 1? Oh, yes. fuck. Yeah, I it is. <laughs> okay, I thought I rolled a 6 straight up. Okay, never mind. It uh, is okay. an effect. Seraph rolled 17 plus 3. This is damn. why you should always read this journal tracker. <laughs> KJ. Oh, that's wrong. God, I don't like any of this. All right. So starting off, it's Seraph, who you see immediately just rushes up and presses his back against the wall with just like a panic look, looking towards all of you like, what the hell is happening? And he's going to just hold his action. 
is that like a full wall or like a half wall? It's about 15 feet tall. Okay. Amble. As it rolls around to your turn, I need you to just roll a d20. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, 19. 19. Very good. You get a flash. You're pulled away from the moment and you see the Iron Rock Valley. And you see that white dragonborn figure. And he just looks up towards you. That is Zujin. A minion of Tiamat. It was my undoing. And it stands from its sitting position. Don't let it be yours. And that vision fades. And you're back. And it's your turn. Oh, fuck! Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yell to everyone else, fuck this asshole up! Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, when Namble uh, does that, I'm probably gonna look at him and kind of do like the hand motion across the throat, like "Shut up!" He doesn't know we're here. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> he hasn't seen I'm, us yet, so fuck. <laughs> I'm ignoring basically what Imp said, rounding the corner. I'm not moving too far in. I'm still gonna kind of be there, aligned with the corner, but I'm definitely gonna be facing him. All right. And. Definitely gonna have my bow out. Hunters mark him. He's hunters marked. And I'm probably gonna yell out to him. Alright. Shit, what the fuck am I gonna yell out to him? <laughs> Fucking uh, so much emotions. <laughs> <sighs> I'll probably yell out to him. You're not welcome here. In the eyes of a fucking Markix. And then unleash some bows. Go for it. 27 and 25. Woo. And roll Hunter's Mark as well. Yeah, I gotta roll two on that. Maybe. I'll nah, just roll D6, fuck it. Yeah, 2D6. Uh, two and a five. Max. Nice. So you watch as you loose these two arrows, and they pass through its chest, and you see, as they do, the shadow quivers, but they just pass right through. And you hear, <coughs> as they clatter across the ground behind it. It did damage, but not nearly as much as you were expecting. This ephemeral dragon makes its presence known. Do you do anything else on your turn? Cry. <laughs> Shit. Um. Uh, well, I'm going to have a... I still have a little bit of movement, so I'm going to move... Hide back to the wall and be like... Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, All fuck. Right. Imp, it's your turn. Oh, dear. Fuck. All right. Um. Uh... I'm probably just, like, wide. I look at the ground like, oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Um, I'm gonna make a mad dash uh, over to this wall right here. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna look out. Do I notice anything uh, in particular about the gem that's set in that pillar? You notice yeah. now, taking a closer look now that this thing has appeared, those red gems are actually overtaken by this shadow, and you see. There's still this fiery red energy within, but it's almost being sealed off by this just aura of darkness around it. Shit. I'm gonna kind of call out like it might be the gems again, y'all. Uh, and I, I guess I'm gonna uh, try to chuck a dagger at that uh, at that gem right there in that pillar. Go for it. Cheat. Great. 
Nah, ten to hit. So you notice, you you throw it and it should hit. It's around twenty feet off the ground. It impacts into the veil of shadows immediately and just <clears throat> deflects off. You feel like you didn't have much of a chance of hitting it at all. Huh. Okay, maybe like it it's didn't not the gems. <laughs> it didn't deflect off the gems. It deflected off the shadows. Shit. All right. So um, as your first attack with the with the Occam's razor. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I. I think I'm gonna just give the second dagger a chuck at the gem too, just to be sure. Okay. It's 25 dead. So yeah, you conjure a dagger with the bracelet of flying daggers and throw it, and it. You're sure this one should hit deflects off the shadows like it's nothing. Alright, it's not the gems, and I'm dipping back around behind that wall, and I'm just kind of pressing back up against it, and kind of like Seraphim just being like, oh gods. (laughs) Alright, it's Oren's turn. (laughs) What the fuck is Oren gonna do? God. Um. Hmm. I think... Ambud would be trying to move her, like, just, like, waving his arm, like, hide, go, go! And she's just gonna duck behind this pillar, and I guess just kind of hold her place, really. Just, like, like take the dodge action? Yeah. Alright. So Orin is dodging. It's now Zujin's turn. You watch as... Well, none of you watch, actually. But you hear as these heavy footfalls... From behind the stone wall. And you see as these black shadowed talons grip across the top of it and just look over towards all of you. Oh, hey there, beautiful. As less okay. of this massive screech. I need you all to make a wisdom saving throw. Jeez. It's using Me its frightful included? presence. Yep, everybody. Uh, Alright. Amble for a 19. Let's do 22. it. 22, I'll take it. Nice. Uh, Orin for 11. Oh, 5, yikes. You can't use your reaction for this, remember. Oh, I can? Do not mind. Oh, you're totally right. Sitting each reaction to get advantage. Oh, okay. yes. And let's try that again. Fifteen. Just passes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so glad you mentioned that. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, none of you are frightened except for Oren. Understandable. But you see, Oren at this point is kind of like shaking in fear. For like the first time, you've seen you see Oren afraid. And as it does that, it sets its claws back down on the wall and raises one and just goes for a massive swipe towards you, Amble. With a... uh, 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Alright, let's roll some damage. Let's not. Where are my d6s? Can he just roll the high five me and that's it? Nope. You take I mean, he is, fifteen slashing big. damage as you just get clawed across the ba- across your back. Ugh. And as it does that, it leans down and goes out for a bite towards you, Imp. Ah, shit. Natural one. <laughs> so you see it going down for the bite, and you just jump back as these claws <laughs> clamp right beside you, and it pulls back, just letting out this menacing aura. Venaria, it's your turn. I have one question, Tao. Yeah? Do I know if this is from the Prime Material Plane? Make an Arcana check. Wish me luck, boys. <laughs> 22. You got a strong sense? Uh, this thing is not from this plane. I cast Banishment. All right. Ooh, baby. This is a charisma saving throw against some she of those charismatic up. creatures. 
<laughs> oh boy. Let's hope. Let's hope he rolls low. He just burned one of his nat ones. It's a, a nat. It's a natural eighteen for a total of twenty six. Yeah, that's Ooh. not gonna go. Shit. They have a plus eight. Jeez. Oh, damn. It's okay, proficient in charisma is... saves. Fuck. Well, there's my ace in the hole. <laughs> you watch as Veneria runs forward and puts their hand up as these ribbons of energy begin to circle around it. Runes as these tiny doors to different planes begin to open and it just lets out this massive roar and these runes quiver and shatter around it. Fucking sweet. And it just looks down towards you. No binds can keep me. Ooh. <laughs> Spicy. Oh dear. Is that your turn? Um, unfortunately, I believe that's the extent of what I can do right now. All right. It's Seraph's turn. Who is going to just look up towards this thing and just yell, everyone get back! As he raises his draconic arm up and it just get wreathed in flame as this massive pillar of fire just blasts up in this massive radius from underneath Zujin. You watch as its entire form gets illuminated with this fiery light and it lets out this roar. You watch that flame begin to swirl around inside of it and darken until it becomes this deep purple flame before it fades with no effect. Okay. And Seraph just looks up towards it. Shit. And presses up, pre presses it back against the wall. I got nothing against this guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think any of us do. Okay, thanks. It's Amble's turn. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, am I able to run over to Orin and kind of knock off her frightened state? Uh, you can make an attempt if you make animal handling. It would let them attempt the save again if you roll high enough. <laughs> Otherwise, they just keep making the save at the end of their turn. Okay. Well, I'm I'm still going to run over to her, which is pretty much my whole range. Okay. As you do, it is going to make a swipe claw at you as a reaction. All right. Come at me. Uh, natural 19. That's a natural hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. On the low end of damage, that is 11 slashing. As Still it, hurts. As you run, it just carves into your back. And you see uh, this just this trail of crimson from the tip of its shadowed claws. Ah, uh, that ain't good. Definitely gonna look over to Orin. Come on, baby! <laughs> Daddy's gonna need some help. And, uh, gonna... Gonna take two more uh, longbow attacks. Alright. Go for it. Oh, Ooh. that's a natty for 10. Yeah. And 16. You lose two more arrows, but after that strike, you're unnerved, and they just go wide and don't even make contact with it. Shit. Is that your turn? Um, yeah, that's going to be it. All right. At the end of your turn, it's going to use two legendary actions. Oh, great. <laughs> You see it kicks off the wall and takes flight and begins to just beat its wings heavily. I need Imp, Veneria, and Seraph to make dexterity saving throws. Oh god, how big is this room? Uh, it's a very tall room. Like, those pillars go up around 300 feet. Oh my god, okay, this is like a cathedral. Yes, it's huge. That's a three! It's Seraph huge. rolled an eight, so they fail, and you fail, uh, Veneria. Imp, you succeed, so you take no damage. Vin, you take, um, how do you math? 14 bludgeoning damage. Uh, my, I take no damage personally, but my ward shatters. All right. And you are knocked prone. Eh. And, <laughs> and are pushed back five feet. And so is Seraph. And you're both prone. Uh, Imp, you take no damage and aren't pushed. But it is now in the air around 30 feet off the ground. And it's just flapping these massive spectral wings 
and you begin to see billowing in its chest this plume of purple flame. Great. Imp, it's your turn. Wait, was that both of its legendary actions? Uh, yes, it, it cost two to do the wing attack. Oh, okay. Alright, um... I guess I'm gonna peek out around here. Is, can I see, like, anything else of note in this room? Um, besides all the different, you know, natural covers and stuff, all the gems are shadowed, and this doorway at the far back is also shadowed over. Uh, shit. Um... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, I'm, I guess I'm gonna... Uh, if I wanted to help uh, Vin up, that would be an action, yes. If you wanted to like make her not prone anymore, yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, I will go over and help her up. Alright, um, so you do that. Then it'll be like, look, I, I feel like these gems have something to do with it. Uh, they have magic protecting them. You might have to dispel it. Fuck, just come with me. And then... Uh, but <laughs> uh, I'm gonna scoot back off. Uh, let's see, actually, how much is it? That's ten. I think Twenty feet of movement still. Uh, right. Um, I will scoot my ass uh, over here. Um, and then just try to have Vin tail me when it's her turn. <laughs> All right. It is Oren's turn? And they are still spooked to high heck. Well, heck. Uh, what do I gotta roll to try to get out of that? It's at the end of their turn. Ugh. Um, hmm. And uh, frightened basically means that uh, disadvantage on attack and can't move any closer, right? Yep. Hmm. You're just gonna dodge again? I feel like she's gonna hide a little bit more behind the, the, the pillar this time and yeah, dodge again. Alright, still dodging. And at that, it is Zujin's turn. Once more. See from its position with an unnatural swiftness it flies to its right and curls around this pillar, its head poking around from the side looking towards you all. Oh, shit. <laughs> this purple flame beginning to billow inside of it as it begins to just let out this massive roar, as this plume of purple flame begins to pour out the sides of its mouth, Seraph is going to use his one and only heroic action oh. to jump up and get in front of you, Imp, in an all-out sprint. As this massive plume of purple flame spreads across the entire arena from Seraph all the way to Amble and Auron. In this massive cone. Fucking. Can I counterspell? It's not a spell, but you watch as Seraph, in his position, holds up his draconic arm towards it, and as if waves hitting a stone in a waterfall, the flames split and curve away from you all. But Seraph took a brunt of that impact as he's thrown back and impacts the stonework and leaves a dent in it as it cracks and he slumps to the ground unconscious oh jesus but none of you take any damage oh shit okay okay you watch at the end of its turn it begins to crawl up the sides of this pillar and it just wraps one of its claws around the front of this red gem, and you see as the shadowed veil lowers, as these trails of red energy begin to pour from the gem into the palm of its hand. Veneri, it's your turn. Up behind Imp. About 15 feet. And... Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the gem, go for the gem. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do the only thing I feel like I can do right now, Tao. Uh, but I'm going to do it with a little bit of flair. Okay, I'm gonna cast Fireball. Are you sure about that? Yes. I'm. I'm just gonna. Just gonna clarify. Do you remember what happened last time? <laughs> I'm casting it on the gem. Do you remember what happened last time? 
Ah, fuck, you're right. Uh, shit. I guess the only- literally the only thing I can do in this situation for any sort of offensive capability is cast Magic Missile, and I'm running low. You can't upcast it. What? You can upcast it. Yeah, to level 3. Which I think is the only thing I'm gonna have to do, because I have no more level 4 spell slots, and everything else that I have is fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, level 3 Magic Missile. Alright. Uh, Go for it. Right That's 5 right Missiles. On. Right on that gem. Three, six, nine, fourteen, seventeen damage. Seventeen. You watch as all five of these missiles spiral and one after another do -do 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 -do, into this gem, and you see it begins to crack immediately. It's looking like it's on the brink of shattering. And you watch as you do those streaks of energy pouring out into its clawed hand start becoming more and more unstable. It's Seraph's turn, and he has to roll a death saving throw. It's a failure. Yike! Amble, it's your turn. After seeing basically everything that just involved there, he's just like, shit, shit, shit. Uh, gonna run over, bring out one of my healing potions, and just slam it down for her. Him. Just like <laughs> him, her, it, it, I'm fucking saving life. Yes, the man that speaks like this is a woman now. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone's a woman to me, okay? All right, I'll roll that healing. Hey, max heal. Nice. So he's back up. Ten hit points. You see him just cough as he leans up against this pillar you get the sense that he has many broken bones. And he just kind of like looks over towards you. I'm not going to be able to do that again. <clears throat> and he just coughs up a bit of blood. <laughs> that was pretty fucking amazing, not gonna lie. But don't die on us, alright? And then I'll, I'll try. Let's see now. So that was your action. That was my action. To feed a potion to someone else is an action. Well, I mean, I still have my bonus action, right? You do. Yeah, so I mean, what, that was 10 feet, and I'm going to try to do... You have uh, 20 more. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm going to try to run up in front of this gem, and... You look at this one, it is still covered with a veil of shadows. Nice! Uh... Aim for the jam! The, uh, the clear jam. You can't attack. Yeah, I was about... Huh? Not even with a bonus action? No. no. <laughs> well, uh, it's uh... called the attack action. <laughs> what are D&D &D mechanics? <laughs> well, I'm sure that I can probably do this and attack. You certainly can. <laughs> so, yeah. So, essentially, I'll have two attacks, right? Yep, you have two. So I'm going to take one of my normal bows and try to go for that gem. All right, big hopefully old action gonna, surge. Go ahead and make your attack. Hopefully it's going to break. Ah, uh, 11. You see the first one, you loose the arrow. It just goes just shy to the right of it and impacts the stonework and defucks off. Damn it. It's a All hard right. target. <sighs> Fuck. It's a lot go harder to one. than just a training dummy. Ugh. That just misses. Ah, shit! This one hits you the gem, what? but it's on, but it deflects to the side. Can I burn an inspiration point? You may. So you can roll again. Yeah, you, just you roll a d twenty. Just roll a d twenty plus nine. He had inspiration when he jumped through the wall of fire. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised you could use inspiration like that. I thought you could only use it for advantage. Yeah, it's giving him advantage. Oh, so oh, you can okay. roll a d twenty okay. plus nine again. So I'm just going to roll a d20. <laughs> Get out! Love it on those 14s, baby. The fates have decided no. Well, my friends, this is where we die. Again, the gemstone, it, it just impacts the gem and deflects off. Unfortunately, not quite able to make purchase against it. Shit! All right. Imp, it's your turn. Yeah, uh, fuck, okay. Shit. After seeing Seraph basically just... D do that. I'm just like, okay, what the fuck? Alright, uh, shit. Uh, 
scooting over to this wall, freaking the fuck out, and I'm gonna go for, uh, just once again, go for knife throws at the, uh, the crystal. Go for it. 18. You throw that, you throw Occam's razor, and it just <laughs> impacts the gem and just slices through it. Doesn't even shatter it. And you just see it just, a large chunk off the wall just slide, tumble, as it begins to tumble away from his hand, those streaks of energy become unstable, and as it impacts the ground and shatters, there's a small explosion in the palm of its hand, and you see that light spreads through its clawed arm, through its body, all the purple flame within extinguished in an instant, as it staggers to the ground, stunned. You see its ephemeral form become more corporeal. Alright, now it's the time to get your hits in, folks, and then I'm gonna... Uh, scoot up bonus action through the other one. All right, you have advantage on this because he is Ooh. stunned. So I do which means you get sneak attack. <laughs> oh boy, roll high, let's go. Oh boy, I've kind of sat it through Occam's razor first, then. Damn. Ooh. So yeah, even with its in its stunned state, you throw the dagger and it just hits a piece of sturdy, like dragon scale, and deflects off. Unfortunately, not making contact. It is a dragon. <laughs> yep. By the way, make a wisdom save for Orem. 15. That's a success. Alright. Uh, so it is now Orem's turn. Well, I think she's really too far away to really do much of anything. Um, Orem has a fly speed of 40, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could, they would be able to get there, but they wouldn't be able to do anything else. Yeah, I think she's just going to move up. I guess basically shaking off whatever she was fearful for. Uh, basically try to come around the corner, see Amble basically sitting up there, just like shit, shit, fuck. And she's going to run up to his side and just ready to attack. All right, you're just holding action to attack then? Um, If it comes any close, yeah. All right. If anything, just kind of waiting for or, or uh, Amble. Gotcha. Azusian's turn. He is still dazed and stunned. It's Venerius' turn. Can I cast the fire on him now? <laughs> Make an Arcana check. <laughs> okay. Can I blow him up? That's Make a ten. I mean, it shoot fire. Maybe it can be burned. Maybe it can't be burned. But it shoot fire, so who know? I'm fucking gonna give it a go anyway. All right. He is stunned. I don't know how it'll work, but fuck it. <laughs> it's All right. Not aimed at a gem, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Fucking have a fireball. Okay. <laughs> Watch as its entire being gets engulfed in flames, these dark black scales as these flames curl across it and fade, but there is no effect. Well, piss and faith Bugora. <laughs> Next turn! <laughs> <laughs> Seraph stands and leans up against the wall, just breathing heavily. Looks over to you, Amble, and just raises his hand out. He begins muttering to himself draconic incantations and casts haste on you. Oh boy, here we go again. You know the effects. <laughs> and then he's just going to press up his back against the wall and just focus on not dying. And at that, it's your turn, Amble. Alright, well, gonna give Orin a pat. Uh, gonna tell her, let's go fuck this guy up. <laughs> gonna move myself up. And I am gonna pull out the, uh, what is that? The orth, orth, what the fuck? How the hell do you say Ontological. That? Yes, ontological arrow. Just All right. Be like, well, let's see how this works. Go for it. Are you... You have advantage. <sighs> it's stunned. I was about to say, like, are you fucking for so, real? Roll another... Oh, my God. Give me a break! 
This thing has insanely high AC. <laughs> so, a 15 and a 16, for fuck's sakes. As you loose this arrow, it just barely grazes across its back. Unfortunately, not hitting its mark. Well, there goes the one and only chance of trying to do something cool. <laughs> you watch as it railgun blasts right past it. It actually impacts the stonework, and you see hitting the wall behind it this massive <laughs> collapse as the stone begins to just turn to rubble as this tiny little hole has been blasted through it and through presumably another 500 feet of dirt behind it. <laughs> Powerful. Okay! That would have done some shit if I actually hit him. Yeah, it would have done approximately 18 damage. <sighs> I cry every time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Hmm. So, if I'm hasted... You I do basically... get two more attacks. Well, because oh. at this rate, oh, fucking yeah. shooting arrows suck. <laughs> I feel like I gotta go up and stab it at this time. <laughs> because it's the only way it's gonna note, hurt. Note, note, you have a higher bonus to hit with your bow than you do with your sword. Uh, but I'm rolling like <laughs> ass at this point. But you know what? I'm just like, well, that didn't work, but that was awesome. And we're gonna do two more. There you go. You, you remember to click advantage. Yeah, I know. So I'm just gonna roll it another time. 23, so we'll definitely take 23. Yep, and then click the advantage button and attack again. Yeah, I was about to say, that's exactly what I'm doing. Ah, uh, and 20. Both hit. So, for a total of... Jeez, that's high rolls on damage. Um, 26 uh, also piercing. Also, two, 2d6 for... Uh, yeah, plus 2d6 on his mark. 3 and 2. Let's so, go. 31 damage total. Very nice. So, you watch these two arrows just <laughs> sink into its form. And it just begins to bleed this black blood out from the wounds. Two very good hits. Very good hits. At the start of your turn, Imp, you can see it beginning to stir, but it's still stunned. All right. Uh, just gonna go for it again. Sneak attack. Toss two daggers. Trying to hit something soft. Probably in the neck area. <laughs> All right. That's a nat 20. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Casual 42 damage, okay. Um, <laughs> you throw Occam's Razor. It cuts, like, as, as it's going, it never stops spinning as you throw it, and it just, like, cuts into, like, five different spots along its neck as it goes. <laughs> Buzzsaw. Basically Jesus. buzzsawing across the side of its neck, and you just see this spray of black, misty blood as it staggers back to its four legs in a rage and lets out another scream like howl. I'm gonna go for another attack. <laughs> go for it. You still have advantage because it's technically still stunned. 21. <laughs> 21, but no sneak that time, so 8 piercing. Oh, yeah, maybe. No problem. Um, but yeah, at the end of your turn, it shakes off its stun and just looks down towards you, Imp, and lets nice out this nasty <laughs> snarl. Lovely. I have to pick around this corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Oren's turn. Well, now that she's not scared and basically sees a uh, big man, you know, snarling at little baby, little, little man, she's basically going to jump up kind of as far as she can. And she's going to go for a tail attack. But this thing is, uh... is kind of out of range, unfortunately. Oh, really? Not... Yeah. <sighs> Ten foot range. Uh, it's so close, though. Well, it is. Not quite. I guess more or less just going to snarl back and just hold for an attack. Because, All right. you know, ten feet. Ha <laughs> ha. Close. All right. On Zujin's turn, looking towards where you went, Imp it begins to fade into its ephemeral form once again. As it lunges forward, gripping onto the sides of the wall right past Oren, who can make their attack now. 
All right. Well, still going to go for a stinger, even though it's probably not going to do much this time. But... Go for it. 22. That hits. Uh, you watch as the stinger whizzes through, dispersing some of the shadows, but seemingly no other effect. Very minor damage. And I would only assume no venom. Nope. <sighs> Damn. And as it perches onto this wall, it leans down towards you, Imp, and goes for a bite attack on you. Oh boy. That is a 17. Uh, we're class of 17. All right, then. Um, let's see. Really wish I had that upgraded armor now. Huh? Uh, <laughs> that is 21 piercing damage. Jeez. And Wait, can 9 I, uh, fire damage. Can I uncanny dodge? You can. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> that would reduce it to 10 piercing and 4 fire damage, so 14 total. I'll do that. <laughs> As it goes for this bite, it's about to grab on to like the back, like your shoulder almost where your neck is, and you just manage to get out of the way and it just catches you by the top of your arm instead, and not, not hitting as many vitals. It still hurts like hell, but it's not nearly as bad as it could have been. And as it does that, it's going to make a tail attack against you, Amble. Okay. With a 24 to hit. Ah! Alright. You take 18 bludgeoning damage as this massive shadowy tail hits you and for just that moment it feels corporeal as it slams into you uh so 18 bludgeoning and i need to make a strength save oh okay 15 all right you do not get pushed back it still hurts like hell yeah and it's now your turn vin cool i'm gonna run up to my boy i'm gonna tap him on the shoulder and i'm gonna cast haste Imp is now hasted. No, you feel again. this surge of adrenaline through you. You are now hasted. Hasty and baby. She is going to... She moved 10 feet forward. She's going to move 20 feet backwards. Is going to proc an op attack. Because there's a range of 10 feet. Oh, fuck. So yeah. it's going to make an attack against you. That's fine. Okay. Natural. We'll say the... Oh, oh, oh right. no! Bring it. This ain't gonna be pretty. No, it's gonna hurt a lot. Uh, 21 slashing damage? Yeah! Yeah! I'm at 28 HP. Hey, same number! Cool! <laughs> and for your sake, I'll say you cast haste as you left, because it's a ranged spell. So you don't have to make a concentration sa check immediately. Okay. Because it has a range of 30 feet, I believe. So, uh, you, you, you could have casted it from the back of the room. <laughs> yeah. Learning spells! So, we'll say you did that, just so you don't get screwed. I appreciate it. <laughs> At the end of your turn, it's going to use the legendary action to... Or two legendary actions to make its wing attack. I need Oren, Amble, and Imp to make dex saves. All and right, well. Amble and Imp both have advantage because you're both hasted. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, baby. Ouch! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? 311s. 11, oh, 10, my... 11, 11. Amazing. And for Oren... Oh, my God. She rolls uh, on 11. Yeah. Oh, nope, no. a six. Uh, okay, so you take uh, 13 bludgeoning damage. Jesus. You take half, you take six. And Wait. are knocked prone. So me and Imp are okay with six, or? No, take... I take I take six because I have evasion. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, but nice. Amble, you take the full 13, and you're both knocked prone, including... Oren, as they take flight and are now around 30 feet in the air. Uh, it's now Seraph's turn. Who is going to... He doesn't have much here, so he's just going to press up against the wall and maintain concentration. Make sure he doesn't get hit. He's going to take the dodge action. 
Amble's turn. Oh, Amble's turn. <laughs> you said I got pushed back on any from that, or? I uh, no, you're just prone. Okay. Ow. I'm not looking spicy at 15. So, I guess I'm going to get back up, which is going to be half my movement? Yep. So, you, your movement's doubled from haste, so you just have normal movement now. Uh, I want to move back, but I'm also afraid that he's going to attack me again. Shit. You do note they used their reaction already. Ah, nice. So, yeah, I'm going to get the fuck out of dodge. <laughs> All right. So, let's see now. Uh, I'm going to go back up to this other wall. All right. Bloop. Gonna do a quick second wind because, ah, I need it. All right. Go ahead, roll that d10 plus fighter level. Uh, I thought I was able to just click. Nope. I think I added it as an attack on your sheet. Uh, not that I see. Hunter's oh. Mark, is it? Must have removed it. Um, okay, and your fighter level is two, right? Yeah, so I so you heal 11. eleven. Very nice roll. Nice. Uh, so that's your bonus. And then I guess uh, I could still attack twice. Yep. Uh, you, no? you can attack three times. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna fucking be spitting some arrows. <laughs> what is with the elevens today? Jeez. The eleven trade rolls on. Oh my lord. Eleven. Oh no! Here we go. There we go. Twenty-eight. And 22. Hey, all right. 2d6 right. as well. 2d6. Again, you notice as in, in its ephemeral form, they are passing through. They aren't doing as much damage as you'd hope. Fucking any. Any damage is good damage. All right. And that's going to be it for me. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, it's going to use its last legendary action to turn and make a bite attack against Oren. Don't you fucking dare. Uh, that is a 13 to hit. Does that hit, Oren? <sighs> Imp, what'd you say about, uh, I hope I had armor? Because, yeah, that fucking meets. You fuck! Damn it. Uh oh, that's, those are high rolls. Uh. No! 27 piercing damage. <laughs> plus Ouch. an additional. Oh god, it rolled so well. 10 fire damage. Ouch! As it just God damn. bites towards Oren and it manages to grab onto their wing for a moment before Oren can beat them off. Oren's not looking too hot. No, she's not. Uh, but it's your turn, Imp. Ah, oh, fuck. Um. Alright, so, uh. Do I have double, double movement uh, speed when I'm. Or, you do. Uh, so your base movement is currently 60. Yeah, but I have to expend half of that to get up, right? Yes. Okay, well, shit. Uh, Alright. Oh, well, I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Get up. Uh, Alright, uh, I'm gonna bonus action, or cunning action dash, uh, and just make my way over here. Okay. Alright. Yep. Um, I'm actually gonna, gonna just speak into the, the ring again. All right, we gotta get this, f this fucker to break one of the gems again, uh, and then I'm gonna um, uh, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to um, I'm just gonna call out and be like, "All right, over here, you fucking worm," and I'm gonna dip around the 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 pillar and take the dodge action. Uh. Make a charisma <laughs> check. Just roll straight charisma. Straight charisma. Okay, interesting. Oh, uh, charisma, charisma, charisma. Oh, I, that's a hit. A, 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 is it a fifteen or a four? Which it's a fifteen. The first number. Okay, fifteen. It just kind of just turns towards you. Beautiful mortal. Man, I tried. <laughs> Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take a dodge over here. Try to right. bait him over. It's Oren's turn. Oh, Jesus. Baby. Baby hours. Uh, 
I guess she's gonna try to go back for a bite, even though we already know how that's gonna go. Oh, oh! <laughs> even though it's a natty! 17 damage, not bad. Uh, so that's half, that's eight. Not bad. So you reach, you see Oren like lunges forward and just bites into this shadowed mass around its chest and pulls out. And you see some of the shadow actually spills. And its form begins to shake and quiver a moment. And it lets out this, this low guttural roar as those purple flames rekindle and begin to burn brighter. As it's now Zujin's turn. Who immediately takes flight. With this um. crystal destroyed, it's going to fly far away from y'all. Arwen can make an op attack if they so desire. Uh, yeah, might as well. We'll do a stinger attack. Alright. 11. Yeah, it's way too fast. Before Oren even gets a chance, it's already gone. But you watch as it flies with this unnatural speed and curls around this pillar and just begins to, with both hands around this gem, begin drawing energy from it as that dark shield begins to fade from it. That's its turn. Uh, is the music playing for anyone else? Yes. No, oh, okay. It's not for me for some reason. Uh, refresh the page. It probably thinks you're in a different roll 20. Noted. How far away are you? 90 feet. Uh, well, I'm okay with that. Because uh, Magic Missile is 120. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go again. I'm going to cast it at level 2, so I think that's 4. That is 4 missiles. Okay. That's 2. That's five, that's eight, that's ten. You watch these four missiles streak forward and slam into it. You see it begin to crack, and again, you see that energy begin to destabilize. Oh, question though, Tao. Yep. Do I lose concentration on haste by doing that? Uh, no, because magic missile is not concentration. Okay, cool. I don't have to roll or anything for the haste check, do I? Nope. Okay, cool. Only if you take that's... damage. Uh, and she is going to move behind this pillar because, yay, safety! That's my turn. Alright. Um, Seraph's turn now. Who's going to round this corner and just get into the center of the room as much as they can. And just speak out in Draconic towards this thing in this ancient version of Draconic that almost doesn't even make sense to anyone that speaks Draconic, as they begin to trace this rune through the air with their Draconic arm. You watch as almost a tear in the planes begins to form as this beam of pure energy shoots out. He casts Disintegrate Woo. onto the gemstone. Oh boy. And instantly it just explodes out, and you watch its form ephemeral in nature become corporeal once more as it tumbles to the ground, stunned, and it just looks up towards Seraph with this hate-filled eyes. As it's stunned once again. Oh, there's the music. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. A little bit of a music change. Uh, Amble, it's your turn. It's stunned. What do you do? Uh... Just gonna look over and be like, nice job, and start running closer. Because I'm still hasted, right? You are still hasted. Yeah, so we'll... Yeah, I don't want to run too close. Yeah, I'm gonna run right there. Run up here. Not too far, but not too close. And uh, we'll just... uh, Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. We'll do three, three bow attacks. Go for it. There we go, 28. Hits. Uh, 11. Miss. And 24. All Hits. right. Roll an extra 2d6 for Hunter's Mark. There All we right. go, 3 so to 6. 27 damage total. Very nice, as these two arrows just sink into its now material form again, seeing it's no longer resisting that damage. It's looking pretty hurt. Imp, it's your turn. All right, uh, I'm going to... Scoot up behind uh, Amble. All right. That's my full movement. It's hazed. It's interesting. Yep. Um, hey, don't touch me like that. 
Um, and, uh, if I could, I'm just gonna go for what I did before, just two throws. Go for it. Oh, uh, advantage because stunned. I actually yep, forgot. Yep. yep. And oh, real so quick, roll I... three d20s. Uh, all right. Just Jeez, to see if you crit. Okay, no crits. Second one still misses. Damn. <laughs> just check it. Okay, here we go. Actually, wouldn't it be plus nine if I'm reading that correctly? Yes, four plus nine still misses. Uh, 26, right. though, definitely hits <laughs> <laughs> for uh, 31 damage. Very nice. Alrighty. Alright. Next okay. attack. 17 just misses. Wow, really? Okay. AC well, of 18. At least we know it's 18. Let's go. AC of 18. It's Oren's uh, turn. Unless there's something else you want to do. Uh. Stop bonus action dash. Just get over here. Oh, wait, no. I already did the third action. You have your haste Never action. Mind. You have your haste action. Oh, in that case. Oh, was... wait. Haste action. Is that just like a. You can make an act? additional weapon attack if you want. It'd just be a standard oh. dagger. Standard I just dagger. remembered, uh... yeah. Or you can dash your call. Do I still get a bonus action as... No, because I threw the dagger. I'm a, I just said that. I'm dumb. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll throw an extra dagger. Go for it. 19. Definitely hits. Six extra damage. Alright. It's looking rough. I'm ducking behind Abel because... Yeah. <laughs> Auron's did turn. 44 in grand total. Auron's <laughs> turn. She's still... Come on, not... baby. Come on, baby. I think she's still slightly out of range, though, right? Yeah. Just barely. Just barely out of range. Uh, she's just gonna move up again. Just fucking be, like, screaming, ready to just, like, so close to attack. And, yeah, I guess she's just gonna run up and just hold for attack. All right. Zujin, you see, is still stunned. Uh, but that purple flame inside has died out once again with the breaking of the gemstone as it's now Venaria's turn. I forget, if I expended all three of my level three spell slots? You cast Fireball, you cast Magic Missile. You should have one left, I think. Okay. Wait, no, no, yeah, you cast left. Dispel Magic earlier. Uh, but when? Right. On the oh, doors. right. Uh, last session. So you Shit. have uh, one second, two second levels left. I think. And a couple first. Uh, yeah. Uh, no fours, no threes. Level two magic missile because that's the best I got. Go for it. And that's another four. Yep. Four, nine, eleven, <sighs> sixteen. <sighs> that's some good damage, but not quite. <laughs> <laughs> it's Seraph's Make turn. Make it clean, boys. <laughs> oh, uh, who at this point you see they've expended a lot of their energy and are just basically collapsed on one knee oh, just breathing yes. heavily bleeding out and they're just kind of just looking up towards the three of you in front of it finish them Amble it's your turn give it to Amble yes <laughs> <laughs> do it oh, as it's no longer stunned since it was stunned on Seraph's turn. Oh. <laughs> but it hasn't gotten the chance to become ephemeral again. Do it, and Amble! <laughs> if, uh... If I move in close enough, is, uh... Is Orin able to make a, an attack? Uh, what the fuck was it? Coordinated attack? Unfortunately not, because they're out of range. Yeah, Okay. Either way, I think I'm still gonna like rush up, pulling out my sword, 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 sword. sword. I'm I'm just gonna be hacking away. Go ahead, and make just your attacks in a fucking rage. Just you have three uh, of them. Oh boy! Fucking make it done. Twenty-one, uh, eleven, and a nine. Uh, How do you want to do this? On. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I was like, "Oh God, Hunter's Mark, come on!" Oh God, I think just, uh, 
he's just so fucking done with this and is just ready to just finish it all and he's just gonna be running up for that neck and just start hacking away whenever he can. So to describe the situation in full you look back and you see Seraph on the ground, a pool of blood by his knees at this point. You see that flash in the back of your mind again. The Iron Rock Valley. Alone against this beast. The injured visage of an ancient white dragon behind you. A blade held tight in your hand. And your vision comes back to you again and you rush forward. Kicking off the wall to your side. Grabbing onto one of its horns as it raises its head up. You follow along with it and place your foot firm on the back of its neck, and in one massive strike, you raise your blade high, and just reverse the grip, embed the blade from tip to guard into this thing's neck, and you rake it out in this massive motion as the spray of black blood shoots across the pillar to the side, But you're not done yet, as you slash down again, and again, and again, until you just ride this thing into the ground, and in one final motion you plunge the blade into the top of its skull, as it goes limp against the ground. I think, uh... After doing all those attacks, I'm just definitely in a huff. Just that was for the last Markix, you bastard! Holy fucking shit! Oh my god! <sighs> I'm sitting down. Then <laughs> goes sprinting to Seraph. Just immediately, no questions asked. I'm gonna roll that medicine check if I may. You may. To what end, may I ask? Uh, some sort of stabilization, because he's bleeding a lot. I rolled a 22. Yep, uh, you managed to patch up what wounds he has. He has several fractured and broken bones. I have a healing potion, it's my last one. <laughs> he, he already had a healing potion from Imp. I'll um, say Amble. Amble, but I'll wait it, wait it, because I'm going to be stepping off that fucking bitch and just... Oh, we got a good bunch of berries. Going to <laughs> as, be doing... as, as you rush over, you prevent any active bleeding, any wounds that open from the sheer impact of being thrown that far into the jagged stonework. The bleeding you are stopped. fucked up, buddy. <laughs> you don't say. <clears throat> Shush. We'll get you sorted out. I have a place to go to. They can sort me out. This place, let's just say I'm not having that feeling like I'm being watched anymore. That's good. Good, 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 good. And I would assume that the others are running this way, and she'd look over and just be like, You guys okay? Eh, more or less, the fuck was that thing? Beat, beat it up, but fucking, ugh. I think common people refer to that as a dragon. They're fucking shit, but like... Uh, I've never seen one like that. I mean, I've never seen one in general, but I don't exactly hear many tales of them being made out of shadows and breathing purple fire. You said you're familiar with this one? I'm saying to Seraph. Not specifically. Gave me a presence of the scaled tyrant. Right. But... It was no god. But whatever it was, it was... It was old. In Very service f- to it. Fucking mean. And I'm just sitting down lying on my back. Ow! <laughs> yeah, Vince takes a seat too and just goes, And now, it's dead. And by some miracle, we are not. Um, as I stepped off the dragon from earlier and you know 
went to Oren, and we all came over here. I definitely whipped up two rounds of good berries, so uh, everyone's going to get four berries. Everyone heals four hit points. Wait, on... Or eight, eight hit points. Wait. No, no it, it's four. Okay, yeah. uh, including Oren, got it. Yeah. Wait, uh... Not, like, dragon pots with a good bit? Yeah, I was about to say, I was going to start making my way back and trying to... You noticed, um, as you were, like, climbing off of it, its ephemeral form began to rapidly return as that black pit had opened and began to drag its form back beyond oh, well, this fuck. plane. <laughs> I'm I'm still going to walk back to that area and try to look for at least anything. You're not really able to find much, unfortunately. As Veneria identified earlier, it's not native to this plane. It be gone, yo. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just... I guess I'm going to spit to the floor and just be like, don't you fucking come back. <laughs> come back over to the group. Uh, Tao, is there any more shadow on the remaining gems? You note that they have faded on both. Including I'm gonna go on the, sh- <laughs> Including on the doorways <laughs> of the north and south, the shadows have faded. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go shatter that shit. Uh, with what? <laughs> My quarter staff. They are 20 feet off the ground. She glares at them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you heights. Well, I Damn I don't you. <laughs> I don't think we have to exactly smash them. They're not doing anything, right? I don't see any fire elementals coming out of them, so I think uh, we're pretty good. Fuck. Okay. Well, we can't sit around quite yet. We got one more door to breach, I think. Ah, oh, great. Sure, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> You all continue. I think no, no, I'm, no. I think I'm going to go back to the council and mend my broken bones. Yeah, you do that. <sighs> Don't die. Tell him. Tell him we're coming. At least after we're finished here. Will you all be visiting the Aether Gardens? And yeah. what do you mean? You know them? Uh, uh a few. Yeah, Vaz, Vaz a good friend of mine. I've known him for, well, a while. Uh, and we, uh, we've we recently run into Lorelei. And Zephyr, too. Hmm. So you can say we're buddies. I see. Well, I'll let them know you're on the way, then. Appreciate it. You see he kind of hobbles up to this stonework and just places his draconic hand on the stone, and as he does, a doorway seemingly and opens as he steps through this portal that opened and as he steps through it closes back up behind and just becomes a standard stone wall again and he's gone he fucks with your magic shit it's fucking crazy hey know, that's fucking pretty cool <laughs> that guy can do things definitely beyond my scope oh, I've never felt so countered in a fight <laughs> yeah, uh, fire not good here, it seems. No, not great. <laughs> what a waste of a fireball. <laughs> yeah, you'll get it back. I, at, at, at least yeah. he tried. Yeah, onward before <laughs> any more dragons point. decide to come kill us. Well, boys, I want to find out what this grand prize is more than you do. <laughs> I think I deserve it. Oh, no questions <laughs> asked. I'd agree with that. I, I, it, it's uh, it's my birthright, after all, so it's... <laughs> Apparently. It's, it's my birthday. It's the reason why we're here. <laughs> so you well, then, open the doors. Open the door. <laughs> Let's open it. You see this small little antechamber with another set of wooden doors. You see it's almost like a waiting room with more murals and depictions of this figure. Various different combats. And you open up this door past it. And you see a single stone coffin. And on top of it, an ornate bow. With a little nameplate beneath it. It's an ancient 
draconic text. And it catches your eye. More than the bow, it catches your eye. You wipe off the dust from the nameplate. In old draconic text, ancient, it's hard to read. But you speak it out slowly as you begin to comprehend it. It reads simply. Here lies Amble Markax, first of his name. May his light shine as radiant as the dawn. You look up towards the ornate bow laid out on top of this place of rest, and instinctively grasp it, as a flash of memories surge through your mind, but they aren't your own. You see dragons, chromatic by the hundreds, each with their own rider, and you're leading them against this five-headed monstrosity, Tiamat, the scaled tyrant. You draw back the bowstring and cast forward an arrow made of heavenly light as hundreds of arrows fly. You watch this elegant and terrifying battle unfold as mortals defy the gods in a fashion never before seen. In time, you see yourself falling. Your white-scaled steed stumbling alongside you. With your last moments, you see the rest of your team deal the finishing blow as Tiamat is cast back beyond the Divine Gate. Close your eyes one last time with a content smile. Your vision returns to you, Amble, standing in this cold stone chamber. Your grip tight around the sun's iris, around your birthright. I totally don't have chills right now. Oh, fuck, guys. You immediately attune to this weapon. As I will now share it with you. Oh, that's the quiver. Uh... (laughs) Gotta go to my artifacts tab. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. It is a plus one longbow, a legendary key item, an artifact that requires attunement. This weapon deals an additional 1d6 radiant damage, and creatures cannot resist or be immune to damage dealt by this weapon. As a bonus action on your turn, you can summon the bow to your hand, regardless of if it's on the same plane existence of you or not. That's some trick ass shit. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Damn. Sick. You see, it's this golden. It's it's hard to tell at first glance, but it is of a golden hue. But it looks more silvery at first glance. This ornate longbow with these elegant carvings along it. You pull back the bowstring. Instinctively, just testing the draw. And as you finish pulling back, you see this radiant bolt apparate into the bowstring. This weapon does not require arrows to fire. It makes its own ammo. Mind blown. Wow. Damn. Well, that's fucking fancy. So, uh, a gesture, with a, just a point towards the, the coffin. I'm assuming that's, uh, your great, 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 however many great grandfather or something? <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely going to be taking my old bow out and essentially replacing it on top of the, uh, on the tomb. And, uh, gesturing back to the, uh, the group. Would it be ironic if I said, meet myself? Uh. I don't know if irony is the right word for this situation. I mean, why do you say that? Amusing, more like it. 
Uh, I mean, why, why would you say it's ironic? This is the first of the Markix. This is Amble Markix. Huh. I didn't realize you were like a, a third or a fourth or however many Ambles have been in you. How many Ambles have been in your family, actually? We've been around a long time. Amble, um, you know, you can't recall any sort of grandfather or uncle named Amble. Huh. Yeah, this is essentially lost in time. It's, again, one of the first. Or <sighs> so I've been told in my dreams, so... That's fucking creepy, though. Same name as you, but... Whatever. <laughs> What's creepier is the the party that dealt with these gods, these dragons, these things long ago. It's it's us. It's the same party. Yeah. So what was that about fates and shit again, Imp? Well, first of all, rewind. Tao, I thought you said there there's nothing on these murals depicting uh, anything that looks like Venor Imp. There weren't. Okay, that's what I thought. But I'm saying it. <laughs> I'm saying it, it's us. I mean, look, it's a mural, man. Uh, they're going to depict a white dragonborn. I'd imagine they're going to do it pretty simply. Uh, I mean, I don't see anything that looks like uh, a magical cat lady or uh, a little shit. And gesturing towards me with two thumbs and a Look, cheesy smile. I, I don't know what you guys had in your dreams, but I I know what I saw in mine. You remember what we were called? The cat, the dragon, and the the devil. There is some unification here. Like, I don't know what the fucking... What fate has planned for us, but... I can tell you that. And I'm pointing towards the mural of dragon slaying. That fucking ain't me. I ain't no dragon slaying. Fucking... I'm me, alright? So. I mean, y'all are welcome to peruse this if you want to, but... Imp, I... I don't think we got a choice. That bull fucking shit. I... So, what's your plan, then? You're no. just gonna run forever and ever? I don't fucking run, I'm just... I don't need no... F I mean, I've told you before, I'm no fucking arrow. I'm... I'm just happy to get by, honestly. And if I can keep doing that, I will. I don't know what this little journey we're on right now is all about. I mean... Preventing a war, that's... That's fucking incredible. Uh, it's enough heroics for me, though. Uh, shit, I mean, did you see what we just fucking fought? Like, <laughs> uh, look, this is crazy and all that, but... And, you know, this, and gesturing towards Amble's bow and the grave. All this is fucking incredible. It ain't for me, though. At this point, you see a little ping on your rings of far speech. And you hear of our imp? Did you fight the fucking dragon? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> uh, no, he he didn't are you fight okay? me. It was another dragon. I, I'd, I'd say I'm immediately a bit more cheery upon hearing of our. Yeah, uh, fucking big ass scary uh, shadow dragon thing. Uh, we killed it. Drill dead. Um, Thanks to gods. But uh, yeah, we got shit to talk about. Uh, I've been Ace of Gardens whenever you're ready to arrive. Seraph told me you were coming. Uh, It'll be good to see you again. Uh, I wish you could be anywhere else, but alright. It's not exactly safe for me in Solanus right now. It's a good fucking point. Right. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. See you soon. Yeah. You see the gemstone glows dimmer. I'm just rubbing bridge of my nose with my thumb and index finger 
And Vin heads for the door, and she's like, Well, Ample, you got what you needed? Yeah, I... I think so. Em, I... I never asked for any of this. I... <laughs> I thought it was going to be a simple life after, you know, everything else with Jane and fucking Ice Fangs and... <laughs> I thought I was going to settle down, but <laughs> here I am. I mean, you seem like more the hero type than I do, so I'm not surprised I'm, you welcome I'm it. Fuck, I'm no fucking hero. I'm just another, I'm just another man. Well, clearly not, judging by that. It's like pointing at the bow. Clearly none of us are. Apparently. And honestly, that fucking sucks, but... <laughs> uh, Outstanding. Well, let's see what happens next, shall we? Fucking onward, I suppose. You all make your way out of the tomb? Yeah. Yep. Alright. You all make your way down the side of the mountain, bed down for the night. And you are all now level 9. Woo! Oh, shit. Y'all can either level up now, or we can finish the session, then you can level. Your call. Uh, I feel like I want to finish. I want to finish first. Okay, we'll finish yeah. first, but then y'all will level. Okay. I'm presuming y'all are making your way back to Ironlock? Okay. Going back the path you came, easy enough. We have all long rest at this point. Approaching the city... You see, not the city first, you see the massive airship hovering above it. <gasps> and from it, these various smaller ships that are seemingly descending from the bigger one into the city, then back up, like making trips. Oh, what? what now? Great. I mean, and... <laughs> didn't they say they were getting ready for war? Yeah, this is, uh... Man. <laughs> Amble, you've only ever seen this airship once before. And it was yeah, for a drill. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's probably been a very long time since I've seen anything like this. Yep. And as you get to the edge of the city, you can tell that they are being very cautious with who they're letting in. But they recognize Amble as ex-military, so that let you all in without much trouble. And you're back within the walls of Ironlock. And you, you note that there are no clockwork soldiers on the streets. And well, at least that's a start. These the smaller airships that are making trips to the bigger one are all landing in the courtyard of the Iron Haven before going back up towards the big one. Can I ask one of the guards, uh what exactly they're moving up to the ship? Just like one of the random guards on the street? Yeah. Uh, hell if I know. If you have to ask <laughs> one of the uh, higher-ups, I'm just watching this street. Making well, sure there's no trouble. Doing a good job. Thank you. I guess, uh... Hmm. Actually, no, it probably only been, like, barely a day for any of our stuff to be ready, right? It's been about a week, because oh. it took three days to travel there, you spent around a day there, then three days to travel back. Well, I'm gonna swing by and see if I got Orin some stuff. Hey. Yep. You go back to the, uh, the Wyvern armor, and they have completed your commission for, I believe it was Chainmail, was it? I believe so. So it was half up front, half after. I believe it was. Uh, I think I got five hundred. Right, six hundred total, and you paid three hundred yes. first, so it's another three hundred. Yep, and I totally have that, and I'm basically broke. Yep. So they happily take the six hundred and begin to fit Oren with the chainmail. You see, it has like leather padding, so it's not direct contact with the metal. Uh, so yeah, Oren is. Looking pretty sick. They got armor. 
their armor class Sick. is now 16. Yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of armor, I'm going to go scoot off to Averin and get uh, my armor. All right. Yeah, Averin, so you make your way up to the Iron Haven, and you're stopped by one of the guards. Hey, what's your business? You tell them you're going to see Averin. And they're like, oh, all right, all right. And you go. And on your way, you see all the clockwork soldiers in the city rounded up in this courtyard and they're loading them onto these smaller airships en masse and sending them up to the bigger one. Well, good fucking riddance, I guess. And as you go on that, you go over to the blacksmith. You see the Firbolg and his blue fire pit just forging away. Uh, hey, Everin. Oh, hello. So- how you doing? Doing mighty fine yourself. Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Um, damn, lots happened in the week that we've been out, huh? Yeah, apparently the council sent word on a mass recall. Ah, oh, uh, all the clockworks. Yeah, supposedly a defect in the system from some sort of uh, spies or something. Ah, uh, crazy. Yeah, I thought those things were flawless. Anyway. Anyway. Got your armor done. Yeah, that's actually what I was stopping by to check up on. Outstanding. Got the other half of your payment? Uh, how I did it all up front. You did? Yes. I thought it was half before, half after. I'm pretty sure I did it all up front. You paid 1500 Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, okay. just make me, it sure. <laughs> let me, because I remember I had, like, a, a lot of gold. Um, like a head over a thousand. Uh, hold on. Let me just double check. Actually, no. You're right. I did only do half. Okay, so seven fifty more. More. And right. he hands over this set of plus one studded leather armor. Huzzah. And is very much to your style. Excellent. It's been a pleasure working with you, friend. Thank you kindly. I'll uh. I know who to recommend. Uh, anyone stopping by Iron Lot? I much appreciate that. I'm gonna give him a little two finger salute and uh, dip out. Be uh, careful! I hate to see my work squandered. Don't no worry, I'm good at avoiding danger. <laughs> That's a good one. And he begins hammering metal again. So, uh, how much is a plus one? So it's your base class. armor right now, plus one. So your armor class goes up to 18, I believe. Yes. All right. There you cool. go. Need a... So yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go retrieve my robes. Right. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see here. Yep. Yeah. Start over armor plus one. I've added it to your sheet. Thank you. Oh, it added studded leather armor as an attack. <laughs> um, beat this clown with my armor <laughs> I'm just gonna remove that one <laughs> that didn't happen no oh, baby All right. <laughs> so yeah you return to the shop that you're getting your clothes done at and they are ready for you and you get this nice to your exact desires looking outfit sweet uh I believe they said it was 40 gold. Uh, I believe you paid that already. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, you paid up front because it was a small t- a small sum. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, she... Do they have, like, a changing room? <laughs> yeah, if you'd like. Uh, yeah, in the corner. Uh, or you could she... probably come back to the house. But I want to wear my new style now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, she'll take it and actually head back before she puts it back on. Puts the new one on. All right, then. Huh. So, the day is yours. You have recovered the sun's iris. What do y'all want to do? Well, oh, I'd, boy! I would pass the information off to uh, Vin and Amble about, like, the Clockwork Soldiers. Um... I don't exactly know where they're taking them, but, uh, um, presuming, uh, somewhere where Lorelai can, uh, fix them up. 
probably the garden, which is going to be great, because that sounds like that's our next stop, so we're going where all the fucking soldiers are going to be. Uh, we, well, I mean, at least they know. So I would imagine they're on pretty much lock and key at this point. Yeah, maybe. You see, certain. at this point, the massive airship is departing from the city. I really wanted to ride on that thing. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy you one later. Um, <laughs> well, I'll hold you one. to that. And she <laughs> starts walking. Amp, are you... F- where, where are we going to get the money to buy one? I'm just being funny, goddammit. Alright. Oh, <laughs> oh, now, 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 you're, now you're dumb. Now, now we're locked into this thing. I, calm your military ass down. And we'll get we'll get it eventually. Probably, maybe, probably not. You know, it, uh, look, it's Vin we're talking about here. She'll probably forget. Uh, I can Jesus. hear you. What's your passive perception? Eleven. You can't hear them. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of hear you. <laughs> you know they're talking. <laughs> Big ears. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Big ears, small brain. Uh, <laughs> rude! <laughs> Literally Puny, 20 inches. Little pea brain, little Ooh, shit pea brain. a big brain. <laughs> Literally 20 inches. Head, 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 head empty. Head empty. Head empty. It's a big head, but it's just full of like fucking air fluff. Anyways. By the way, I just gotta I say. I so bullied. I just gotta say, uh, Vin, when you cast Magic Missile, they had. Uh, Whatever, I don't remember what they had before, but afterwards they had four HP. Fuck! <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> so I was like, ah! Well, ah. <laughs> it was good that the boy slayed the dragon. It was very yeah. befitting. Ah. It, was, it was fitting. It was poetic justice. Anyways. Um, um, we're going yeah. to Aether Garden. Yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed the first raid-style encounter of uh, this setting. Like Scary. It. I figured out the mechanic. I tried baiting him over, but no, a little midget uh, half elf trying to <laughs> insult big dragon didn't work. Yeah, they they his go to would be the either the least populated pillar or wherever was farthest away from everyone, give him the highest chance of actually successfully siphoning the energy. But y'all casted haste on two of your party members, so y'all just <laughs> walked across the arena. <laughs> 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 okay. Anyways. So y'all begin making your way south? Uh, well, I mean, if anything, I would probably go back home and be like, hey, uh, are any, is any, did anyone come back yet? Not yet, unfortunately, Amble. Ah. Also, um, (laughs) you wouldn't have to know anything about, uh, our family history. Not anything more than you would. Huh. Maybe well, Nensis would, but I don't huh. know how much. All right. Um. All right. I think we're gonna um make our way south to the Aether Garden. Leaving so soon, then. It... I would imagine no one else is there with us mm-hmm. at the um at the moment. Yeah. Um. Shit. Uh. I. <sighs> Sadly, yeah. I I would love to stay longer, but it's it's urgent. I understand. Just stay safe, Emble. You as well. Of course. I'm gonna give a big old hug. Big hug uh, to mom. Uh, and then yeah, gonna regroup with the party. And you do so. So you all begin to travel south towards Aether Garden? Begrudgingly. Alright. Do you all wanna which well, way do you want to go? Do you want to stop by Oaktown or Myrefall before you hit by Bower- Bowerstone? Uh, do we know anything about said towns or are they just kinda of places along the way? Uh you stopped by Myrefall on your way down to the Ice Fangs. You've never been to Oaktown before. Let's go Oaktown, let's go somewhere new. Oh. Hey, when in Oaktown. <laughs> when in Oaktown. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you saw being making your way south along the new route. Uh, it takes... Actually, let's... Quick maths. Skip this in post. Post-production Tau, cut this out. <laughs> Future <laughs> Tau. Uh, 
Uh, so it's going to um, take around 21 days to get all the way from Ironlock to Aethergarden. Or are we able to go get some more horses? If you all want to buy horses, sure. But you would have to buy uh, horses. Do we need more horses? You don't so, really feel like you're in a time crunch. But we feel like we're in a time crunch. If I mean, if, <laughs> if you all want to, if you all be speed, you can. Nah, let's 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 cruise. All right. Uh, begin great. walking south. Lots of walking. Can I say at certain times I'm gonna try to like, I don't know, train or to have a rider? Yeah. As as you're continuing your travels, um, by the time you hit Oaktown, you can comfortably ride on Oren as they fly. Ah. Can she sustain flight? She can. Excellent. <laughs> the reason I ask is, Amble, you ride on Orin, and I dual cast fly on myself and Imp. Because uh, uh, I can do that. Oh. That does. Uh, the flight does only last ten minutes, but you can have the entire party be flying for a total of ten minutes. It would extend time just a little bit more. Or reduce it, it rather. Is it really or worth reduce. it? I mean, I'm going to get those spell slots back anyway. <laughs> We're going to scare the shit out of some, like, travelers that are coming down the road. They just see, like, a, a wyvern being ridden by a dragonborn and two just, like, T-posing gremlins just floating on either <laughs> side of it. You know what? That's a great idea. Next next caravan oh, we come by, we're going to do that. <laughs> it just terrorize the locals. Great. <laughs> so, yes, occasionally for ten minutes a day, she'll cast fly to make sure we can get there just a little bit faster. Yeah, any difficult terrain you come by, you just fly over it. No cool. big deal. Oh no, difficult to rain. What can we ever do with a ranger? Yeah, it's almost Fly. like you ignore it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but y'all y'all make your way south to Oaktown. It's been around a week and a half at this point. God, my fucking uh, feet hurt. <laughs> it is a small and quaint town. But there's a little bit of activity, you know. The locals are enjoying what they have at their disposal. Yeah, see, when in Oaktown. When in Oaktown. Um, I'm presuming... None of y'all are really looking to linger. Not particularly. No. Okay. No. Y'all spend a night at the inn having a warm bed to sleep in for once, for a while. And as you continue south, the weather does seem to ease up, being a less snowy environment and entering into more grasslands and plains rather than the tundra. Flipping as my you... cloak back around. Yep. As you make your way down towards the familiar visage of Bowerstone. Entering has in. Anything... What? I was going to say, has anything changed since the last time we passed through? There is a higher military presence. Ah, yeah, um, that would make sense. And you see there's a lot more smiths working on weapons and armor specifically. Um, basically, just it's, a, it's a busy. It's a lot busier than it was before. But before long... There you stand, on the cusp of the Aetherwoods. jeez. Uh, oh, yeah, I would assume we're, like, right in conjunction with the Burning Heights. Yep. You can see the beginnings of the winding tree line in the distance. Uh, yeah. Oh, I shit. know you two have history here. Um... Well, you're not doing it alone, at least, right? And she just kind of looks back at him, and it's that sore look where it's just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> kind of giving him a similar look, like, mm, yeah, okay. Just a motivational <laughs> poster here. I, I shrug because I know nothing of the Aether Garden. <laughs> she uh, looks at Imp and just goes, ready? Uh, no, but uh, we gotta get this fucking done, so... Uh, all okay, right. let's move. Oh, I guess. Y'all continue forward. I'm gonna speak to Orton and be like, "Man, there are a bunch of sour pusses." 
there is a feeling in actual real life there is such a feeling of dread in my stomach so. <laughs> good <laughs> also i will say Excellent. when we're entering i'm going to turn around and amble and give the cheesiest fucking spooky like ooh, ever like uh, by the way i'll go into the forest they say you die if you do ooh. he's not wrong <laughs> uh, do you really believe that shit <laughs> I, I was about to say, I almost I'm, died in the ice fangs. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> I mean, I made it through the outer skirts of the Aether Garden. How bad could it really be? Uh, you took a teleportation circle. I'm saying that to ease the idea that it's going to be an arduous journey through the woods. Good gotcha. save, KJ. Good save. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. You all enter in to the Aether Woods. The long, straight yes. road, nice. curving towards Aether Garden. These five massive spires visible off in the distance. It's strange. The sensation for all three of you, Amble and Venera, your connection to the arcane. The presence feels weird. And Imp, your Aetherborn side beginning to show. Doesn't feel the same as when you were a kid. Feels different. Empowering almost. As you walk down the road, you have a couple days ahead. Three days until you make it to Aether Garden. Is there anything to, like, see in these woods? Like, anything different from. I don't know, anywhere else in the in the world? No. But you know that the land is perfectly flat. The trees seem to be evenly spaced, but not in any specific pattern. And it's eerily quiet. There isn't an inkling of life in these woods, besides the trees themselves. I find that alone to be a little spooky. That's just weird. Yeah. Through the trip, Vin hardly talks at all. She is nervous. I'm I'm probably gonna be like Vin. You you all right? You wanna you wanna you wanna talk about it? No, no, I do not, Amble. Oh, okay, I I'm 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 I'll keep reminding you. I'm I'm here if if you wanna talk. Eh, you can talk to Orin. She is just walking. <laughs> well, tried. To, to, to Ven, I'm gonna kind of be like, hey, you speak about the woods. No, Amp. I'm spooked about what's waiting. Oh, well, fucking duh, but. I mean, you asked. I'm saying, and most folks around here are fucking terrified of these. These woods, for some reason. I mean, kind of creepy as shit, but yeah. speak up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, this mic. I swear, this mic. Sometimes it's like either it picks up like someone sneezing seven rooms over, or I could be shoving my face in it, whispering, and it's like, nope, totally quiet. <laughs> but um, um, yeah, no. It, basically, straight up, Chad, uh, Vin to Imp and Amble. Her disposition has gotten a lot colder. Noted. She is very focused on where you're going right now. Before long, the sun begins to set over the burning heights. You make way and bed down. Do you bother trying to take watches? May as well. Absolutely. I'm All passing right. the fuck out, or at least trying to. <laughs> You're not gonna bother taking a watch. Oh, you you mean like take a turns? Yeah, then yeah, I'll take turns. But okay. So, what's the order? Uh, me and Orn will go. Really, whenever, honestly. Let's just do order I... that we called out in. What? 
So let's just do the order that we call that, and so Amble and Orin first, and Vin. Okay. Let's roll a die. And I'm sure I'm gonna tell, uh, Vin, if if you need extra support, I guess, Orin's here. <laughs> so, to start. Amble, your watch goes uneventful. The woods around you eerily quiet. Before long, you wake up, Venaria. Venaria, you stay in your watch, just thinking about what's going on. Your watch goes uneventfully. You wake up, Imp, and he goes for his watch. And that's when Imp you start seeing it figures silhouetted in the distance what kind of like humanoid figures or it's hard to make out at the distance you're at Uh, I think I'm gonna kind of like just have a, a hand like palming one of my daggers like kind of on edge as I'm watching them seeing if they do anything. You see as they start approaching, they're not corporeal. They look fake. And they become clearer the closer they get. They look like clockwork soldiers, but distorted. As if An incorrect memory. You look towards Amble and Vin and they're in a cold sweat. Amble and Vin. Asleep you stand over your unconscious bodies, your forms ethereal. Looking out towards these nightmares approaching you. So we're aware of this then, huh? Yeah. Uh... And you're trying to wake up. But you can't. And that's where we'll pick up next session. Uh... What? No! Uh... Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Shit! Yes! Oh my god! Oh. Great. Oh, I'm excited. Because I Carol. know things about the woods. I know things. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now you say you little fucking <laughs> shit. Nightmare made reality. Oh, no. <laughs> Fan oh. fucking tastic. What? There's a reason I was like, ooh, the woods are spooky. 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 Yeah, see, you fucking know something, you little shit. But regardless. <laughs> I, we'll see you, better you next believe, time. You better, you better hope I won't get back in my body. Regardless, <laughs> <laughs> we will see y'all next time on the Arcanum Genesis. Goodbye, everybody. Peace.